look at this beautiful chat. Look at all you cool people. Are you ready for CPL 420? <laughs> Funny number CPL time. Let's go. How are we all doing today? Dada, how you doing? <laughs> Did I even notice it's 420? Of course I noticed because one, every fast food restaurant told me they had a deal today. And I do mean all of them. And additionally, I got several texts from dispensaries that I go to <laughs> saying that they had deals and emails. And uh, yeah, <laughs> also plenty of people posting funny number memes. So happy funny number day. But yeah, other than that, it's business as usual. God. I hope you're all having a great time. Man, yesterday I got to see fucking um, Return of the King in theaters. Uh, <laughs> Return of the King is so good. Anyone who says it's not the greatest movie ever is just absolutely wrong. I also didn't load up the lobby before hitting go, so you would ignore the beeps in the background. Dude, what am I going to... Oh, yeah, they did the full extended version, all four hours and 20 minutes of it, which was incredibly nice considering that the next day was 420. <laughs> but, yeah, it was um, like a one-day-only theater thing where they... Oh, God, it was... um. Oh, that's your first mistake, Dada, because you didn't see the extended editions. You've got to see the extended editions. <laughs> it's like 13 hours of beautiful content. Oh, I didn't put my phone on Do Not Disturb. Silly me. Go away, messages. I am busy talking with the nerds. Uh, on. Good enough. The box set, nice. Oh. All right, Dada, get the fuck out. <laughs> the extended editions are the best way to watch that series. They add so much. There's like, it's so good. Ah, <laughs> oh. man, the theater, it was also. So last night we had a tornado warning <laughs> and severe hail and thunderstorms. So it was like a dozen of us in the th in the theater and right as the movie starting, so instead of doing like, um, so like you have your movie start time, right? Normally you have like the uh, movie ads, like the trailers for other movies. They didn't do that. Instead, they did like a 20 minute D&D &D type thing for some Lord of the Rings D&D &D type game. And so while that was going, all of our phones went off for a tornado warning. And we all just went silence, phones back down. Let's keep watching. And oh, that was absolutely great <laughs> oh we were all just like yeah fuck it we're in an interior room we got lord of the rings playing eh. what's the worst that could happen murica baby Angry Dwarf, I am one step ahead of you, baby. <coughs> I don't even know what kind of question I asked. What, did I say what more could you ask for? I feel like that's what I said. I don't know. That was kind of more of a throwaway question. <laughs> Get to do that on 420. Hell yeah. <laughs> Uh. <coughs> so we have two groups tonight, guys. Let's take a look. Look at this, guys. I'm into professional casting things where I do this. We've got the first group where the Fighting Irish take on the Seals, Southeast Asian Laggers. No, no, Memorial Day, Dwarf. I've been telling you. <laughs> and then, and then. So this is 
going to be a while. And then, and then the finals, guys. Look at it. I'm not playing. I didn't play in the finals. We're lacking so many Zerg tiers. All Terrans and Protoss from our team. Look at this, guys. Hey, hey. All right, so we get to make... All right, you know what? You know what? This is perfect. This is perfect. Escalade casted my games earlier, made fun of me. When we cast his games tonight at, like, probably 11.30 p.m., oh, I'm going in. I'm going hard, boys. All right? <laughs> Man went in earlier on me. We're paying the favor. Everyone else is good. Everyone else tried hard. Escalade did not try hard, I'm sure. Already. Haven't seen the games. Don't even know what happened. I know he didn't try hard. <laughs> but, of course, this is what we were starting off with here. Couple of ZBTs and a TVP. <laughs> hey, Sock, well, how you doing? <laughs> Fighting Irish here. Represent. That's okay. I'm ready to watch them lose to the Pandora Patrol. Also, no one in our Discord reported their scores for the finals. So I genuinely don't know <laughs> anything that happened for the finals. Like, normally at least the players go like, oh, I got a 2-0 or something. Like, I think only one person said their score. <laughs> so I I have no clue how that went. So, but hey, you know what? That's the best part about casting is that we don't know. Exactly. It's going to be one hell of a surprise. Which is usually why I avoid those talks anyway when everyone's like, oh, how'd you do? How'd you do? I'm like, eh. I don't need to know. I'll figure it out when I'm sitting here in front of you guys. <laughs> Alright, guys. We've talked. We've smoked. We talked about Lord of the Rings for a little bit. Let's get into the game. And keep doing those things, alright? <laughs> Dada is all hyped up because I'm going to actually talk about the game for once. Little does he know. We're actually going to talk about Lord of the Rings all day. The spawning here on the... Upper right hand side with the magenta SCVs. Give it up for Alien. And his opponent in the top left hand side with the red drones. Give it up for Archer Freeze. Lord of the Rings, Star Wars. We can talk about a lot of things. Yes. <laughs> I know how much you love me talking about how good the prequels were in the prequel era in general. Like, the, the era of the Republic is a very good era. And it just, unfortunately, George Lucas wrote dialogue for what everyone knows of the prequels. And that's unfortunate. <laughs> Dave Filoni, though. Dave Filoni is just George Lucas, too, but better. You realize that they're amazing. I got it. Oh, yeah, Dave saved Star Wars. Dave. <laughs> Feels like an FMV game. <laughs> Dude. All right, so let me tell you guys a story. If you don't know, Dave Filoni, absolute giga chad that he is, all right? When he got hired on, he George Lucas went, you're going to replace me. And so he trained Dave Filoni to replace himself, right? So when it comes to like the ultimate authority of Star Wars, there are three people. There are three people who know everything about Star Wars. George Lucas, and he doesn't know everything because he doesn't know like all the extended books or anything, but he knows like how things should be, right? Because it's his universe. Dave Filoni, who knows everything basically, and a name you might not expect, Sam Witwer. Sam Witwer, the voice of Maul. Um, the voice of Emperor Palpatine in the Clone Wars for an episode or two after the original actor died. And um, Starkiller. He, he, he actually knows everything about Star Wars. Like, it's hilarious. If you ask him, he just knows everything. Every book, every comic, every movie, every show. He knows it all. He, like, there was a point where uh, Pablo, who's on like the lore team, I forget what the council is called, but, like, they called Sam because they're like, we don't know the answer to this. So they called Sam. 
<laughs> He's like, oh yeah, this is the answer. Yeah, also they have a team of people dedicated to making sure the lore stays consistent. And funny enough, they were ignored for the entire production of the sequel trilogy. So I'm, I'm going to let you guys do with that as you see fit. All right. High ground to CC versus three hatch. All right. Eh. Unimportant. Dave Floney is just the greatest. <laughs> Not surprised. God. I think it's time to rewatch the Clone Wars. I do love me some Clone Wars. It is actually my favorite TV show. Like, just not because, like, oh, I grew up with it. It's like, no, I, I rewatch it regularly. I rewatch it every year, starting on May 4th, which we're actually coming up to. Oh, God, I got to start my rewatch soon. Well, the, no, you're thinking Attack of the Clones. Attack of the Clones is episode two. The Clone Wars is the animated TV show. <laughs> Trade a Ling for an SCV. That's nice. No, 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 no. Attack of the Clones is great in a lot of ways. That just happened to all not be dialogue related. If Hayden, if you put any other director or screenwriter in the prequels, it's better. Because the two things is that George Lucas doesn't know how to write good dialogue, especially romantic dialogue. And he doesn't know how to direct people who don't, people who need direction, right? You look at Ewan McGregor. Right, he is a good actor. He knows how to act. He doesn't need much direction. Just, hey, McGregor, do this thing. And Ewan's like, all right, I'll do this thing. And he does it very well. Hayden Christensen, at the time of the prequels, needed a lot of direction because he didn't know what he was doing. And he never got that. And that's why a lot of his acting is so stiff. No, no, no. I'm not saying change them. I'm saying, like, you keep all the core plot points. You keep all of, like, the general idea of how things happen. And all you change is just you reword things. You reword sentences. You have someone who just says like, hey, Hayden, try and try and do this in this scene. See if that works better. You know, you have people like that. And that's it. You add that and it's so much better. Yeah. Yeah. No, Hayden Christensen is a good actor and he does not deserve the shit he got for it. All right, couple links went in, tried to heal the bunker. Did not work. Bunkers are good units. Three racks coming up. Range. NG Bay. We're looking good here. Muta's. The Spire is coming. It's, it's getting there, guys. Everything should be fine. Ooh. All right, this is. Oh, it's tier zero. I don't know. Uh, I know Love Snow wants to do tier zero for the finals. I think he said tomorrow, next day, eventually. All right, and we scan the natural. Nice. So, this is fun, right? If you do, if you put your hatch here and you do a three hatch base, three hatch, two base. So Taryn, when he scans, he's going to scan your main first, right? Ah, there it is. Ah, okay. He, he did it before I could say it, but Jeremy, you're going to scan here. See the main base. You'll see the other hatch and you'll go, all right, do I scan out the other hatch and see if the text here, or do you scan the natural and see if the text here? Cause you can miss it. And then there's that opportunity where your opponent's got tech and you don't know. Yeah, you just <laughs> stim it down. It's faster to rebuild a comm set than it is for it to gain 50 energy, which is beautiful. Also, Dada, I'm going to say something. You um, might not realize it, but the Lurker Den is not a Brood War building. It's actually a StarCraft II building. This is the Hydra Den you're thinking of. <laughs> All right, two ports coming on up here. Oop. Marine's in good position. Oh, Muta's, <laughs> Muta's running. Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> Well, you know, Donna, I'm the one who's supposed to get these things messed up, you know? I'm the one who casts both games. You doing it? Well, I mean... <laughs> Lurkers not put video games with them. All right, scan, seize the hive, double Evo coming. So this is a good dose of crazy Zerg, right? No Hydra Den, just, just mutas in the, living in the moment. Couple of A-move uh, medics. <laughs> yeah, no, you're good. You're good. I'm messing with you, Dada. But yeah, the um, Lurker Den is a separate building that allows you to build Lurkers in StarCraft 2. Alright. And getting two of the medics here. That, that's real nice. It's real nice for our um, Zerg here. Alright, we scan out the Mutas flying around. Yes, yes, we do. The trick is, though, is that Crazy Zerg's supposed to be on three bases. Because you need that third gas to really do it efficiently. But, oh boy, he's going to try it anyway. And I respect that. Oh, no, no. Mm, Got to be careful. I mean, Terran's going to let this happen, so that's fine. But... Terran definitely could have tried to bleed out some links here or just be ready. Oh. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> knock, knock. Oh, both players. <laughs> a little off guard by finding each other here. Both seem a little confused. Alright. Kill a few mutas, so we thin up that link count pretty heavily. So I don't I don't hate that at all for Alien. Alright, there's the Ultra Cavern. Alright, night data. Alright, we're getting our space cows. Who's ready for the space cows? All right, he scans. He must have caught the tail end of the lings or something, because he is reacting accordingly. All right, explorers are reporting. What are they reporting? I don't know. It depends on the day. Probably reporting on, like, the stocks and Iraq or I don't know. Something relevant, I'm sure. All right. Double NG bays going away. Going up to six racks here. One one with a lot of fire bats. Or plus one with a lot of fire bats, I should say. One one's almost done. All right. First ultra is getting ready to pop. Titan is plating almost done. We will have to kill at least one sunken to get them out. I think if you kill this one, they should be able to path out here, but it's going to be annoying. Yeah, this is the right one, I think, to kill. And now your space cows are free to go. Irradiate's not quite done here, so... There's a small window here where you can get some play done before they can just irradiate down your cows. They're turning the freaking cows sick, you know? Of course, Kitanus Plating is done, so these are our 3-1 Ultras. Oh, we irradiated a Marine! Whoops. Alright, nice Scourge coming here, picking off two vessels. Oh, but we are losing all of our cows. Uh, we gotta move these irradiated ones away. Ideally. Or, like... Aww. It's always sad when your uh, sick cows hug each other to death. <laughs> That's big brain. 
All right. Uh, I don't really think Zerg has too much potential here. Two of our ultras are almost dead. Uh, love to see you just expand right on the back of this, right? Double expand on the back of this. Yo, Volkos. Uh, hell yeah, bro. Hope you're enjoying your day. <laughs> Yeah, I would love to see a double expand on the back of this. Like, instead of going in here, we keep we keep our units here, right? Just to posture a bit. And then we drop, like, this expand and this expand. Right? Or something. Terran here grabbing a third. Oh. oh, there's not really a whole lot of mutas here left anyway, so, um, yeah, this isn't going to go good for them. <laughs> All right, Lings, run it on up. Um, are th those are not cracklings. He doesn't have crack. He forgot to put crack in their sandwiches. Come on, man. It's a peanut butter and crack sandwich. How can you forget the crack? Bro, these lings are slapping so slow. All right, Terran burning energy here. Sees everything. He's taking six o'clock here. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's like, ah, eh, you shouldn't find this anytime soon. All right. And yeah, he's on a war path to cancel this base. Yeah, this is dead. My drones. <laughs> no, 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 no. Ah, oh, they tried. The boys tried. All right, we are just going to fly in here. Ooh, lots of Scourge. All right, we connect with one vessel. It's not the greatest. Our Ultras are falling. Yeah, well, at least the Mineral made it up. Out of the three, this one's not done yet. This one made it up. This one got canceled. You know, it's, it's something, right? All right. This thing's not getting anything done. Like, I feel like he has to have, you know, adrenal glands so they're attacking faster, but it feels like he doesn't. You know? Also, uh, Terran's gonna do Terran things and build battle cruisers. Pew, pew. I hate battle cruisers so much. They're a good unit. All right, six vessels versus four cows. <laughs> oh. Why even a racer when you <laughs> your opponent can do it for himself? Oh, man, this game is um, going from very bad to very much so worse. These are some beautiful radiates. Honestly, the Terran here is looking real good. I mean, space cows are scary, but they also can't hit up. And unfortunately, these battle cruisers are flying units. Also, did you know that it takes 83 Scourge to kill a battle cruiser because they can one shot them? So they really don't actually matter. <laughs> Ah <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, double drop coming in here. All right, so this base did get up, but uh yeah. All right, 4-2 Ultras versus 1-1 one, one Marines. 
Not the greatest fight for the bio, admittedly. All right. He finds Terran in the lower right hand side. Yeah, now look at that. That's much quicker. That's much quicker than he was hitting earlier. That feels better. Ha <laughs> ha! Absolutely baited. Lifts right into Scourge. <laughs> that, that is beautiful. Honestly, my only regret is that he didn't have a queen on standby to infest the command center. Exactly, Mars. You get it. <laughs> this man gets it. Oh, this could be big. Oh. AFK, not even once, bro. Mm, not quite back enough. All the Marines are fighting the Ultras up front, so. All right, Ultras pop. Lings are extend no chance here. 2-1 versus 2-2, two, two, you know. All right, we are hitting that gas. This looks like one of the biggest wastes of attack, but it's actually one of the greatest things you can do as Terran. Just losing the ability to mine gas and just having that harassed is so painful. All right, the Filer Mound coming up here. Lots of Scourge hitting the field. Unfortunately for our boy, Scourge are, um, yeah, they're kind of useless against battle cruisers. All right, how many has he got here? Ten? He might kill a battle, he might kill a battle cruiser. Oh, no micro. He does kill one. A little bit of miss micro there, and we didn't get a single shot off on the Scourge incoming. That's painful. It's actually what you really wanted, Zerg. Ooh. Alright. Problem with Scourge, though, is they don't shoot down. That's what we needed to infest the command center for. Is that we had ground Scourge. But, nope. Oh, these vessels are dying. Scourge are actually doing really good work this game. Like, for as much as Scourge are kind of a meme and usually only used to force the Terran to think, they are doing very good. Alright. Space Cow is disabled. Alright, we're back into vessel production full time. Oh, uh, mind you, Zerg's not really, doesn't really have a whole lot of gas to mine anymore. That's depleted. This is low. This is only real good gas. And, um, yeah, about that. You try to run into a fire bat. Bad time for everyone involved as long as you're the ultralist. Alright, and Zerg is kinda kind of in a bad spot here, guys. <laughs> Fourth base going down. Oh, if we can get this drone transfer, it is not a pretty spot. Ooh. All right, one Scourge connects. All right, we got boys hot on the heels here. GG is called. GG is reciprocated. And our Terran here is going to take game number one. GG's. <laughs> Drones are going to the second game. They're like, <laughs> See you guys. See you guys next game. 
Bro, I could use drones to follow me from game one to game two. That'd be beautiful. Oh, man. All right, guys. Terran power showing up good. Ow. Ah. My body is sore today. All right, guys. Who's Who do we think is going to win this series? Or this, yeah, this series. Terran, he's up 1-0. Protoss? Put, or, Zerg, Protoss. Ah. Fuck it. We're going into game two. <laughs> We're done. We're done here. We're done. We're not ask we're not taking questions. Sorry, we're closed. In the lower left hand side. With the magenta CVs. Give it up for Alien. And his opponent in the lower right hand side with the red drones. Give it up for Archer Freeze. Had a great idea, just kind of got locked down. He had, no, he had no space to expand his economy. Yeah, and that's, that's really how you beat a Zerg, is you just smother him. Zerg. Man, Zerg without gas is so hard. Because you need Ultras, you need your Defilers. If you can't get them. Things don't go well. All right. Well, unfortunately, it looks like those drones from last game haven't quite made it here. So, I don't know, Mars. You're gonna we're gonna have to go looking for them. I think they got lost. They probably ended up on Vermeer or something. <coughs> Yeah, silly drones. Kind of dumb. All right. Nothing too fancy here, it looks like. <laughs> Stuck in customs. Oh, no, they became income defense or something. Or just like wave generic spawner. Oh, no. Your elevation. <laughs> Paste gamers and Terrans. Well, ain't that some, ain't that some bias right there? Man thinks Terrans are based. Based in what? Lies, deceit, salt. <laughs> now, elevation. I hope you're having a great day, my dude. <coughs> All right, looks like we're going to do a three hatch in base again. Or three hatch two base. And Taren, just building up that money. Is he going to go straight into his CC? Ah, uh, all right. Oh, is he going oh, to do it on the inside? Safety CC. All right. This man's been like nine pooled one too many times. Where he's like, mm, no, we're, we're playing it safe today, bro. All right, Marines, forming the line here. Drone, not going to be able to get a single bit of info. Other than the fact that that Marine's dancing. That Marine is just, he's taking a walk. He, you know, doing patrols. That's what he's doing. All right, there's the layer. So we'll probably see mutas again here. Three hatch muta, not as common these days, but still good. Darren here just powering up on one racks. There's the academy. Should see second racks here in a moment. 
Hey, I can see the future, guys. Ooh. Is he going to make it home with his life? Probably not. Ah, Zergen just gave up Chase. Yeah. Man's going to make it home to his family. Nice. Mm. All right. Zerg seeing the Marines move out. Dropping three sunkins. You don't commit to this, right? No. Alien, you just, just go home. You've already gotten every, all the value out of it. You forced three sunkins in a round of lings. Yeah. There was no reason to lose those Marines. You just walk them home. Of course, uh, Mr. Freeze here doing the right thing. You just, you clean up a bunch of Marines. You know, that's about all he's got right now, right? So let's go ahead and move across the map. See if we can't get something done. Mm. Bunker finishes. Looks like there's not going to be much we can do here. SCV hiding. He's on break. SCV's just sitting in the corner of the bunker eating. And don't mind me, guys. I'm just eating. All right, gets the Spire's first scan this time. That's nice. All right, there's the factory. So we're going to start getting that tech on up in here soon. All right, both players just going to go ahead and macro here for a bit. And Terran happy to just pump out Marine Medic. Get his factory, plus one range. Zerg, we're waiting on those mutas. It's right about now. Terran should be considering dropping those turrets. I think here in the next few seconds. And yeah. Man saw the timing. He knows exactly what he's doing. You love to see it. Ah, uh, Valk build. That's possible. Let's see. Should see Starport. Pretty quickly. Alright. Mmm. Two ports. Probably gonna be more, um... More along the lines of an SK. Oh, Scandi sees the Muta timing. He sees that they're all there, just grouping up. Ready to come in and spit on his workers. Nope. <laughs> Sad Terra noises when you don't see the build you want. I do that all the time. Watching like anything where I'm like, oh, come on, do the build, do the build. And they don't. I'm like, dang it. I wanted to see that done. All right. Ooh, one of the turrets finishes. That's nice. Zurich had everything to deny them. Didn't. And now, yeah, this is a full ring here. Sorry, Zerg. <laughs> you ain't got much here. I actually can try and like sneak down here. You'll take shots from this guy. Maybe these guys on the edge of your pack. And you just fly right on in and over. And then, then you make guardians. That's what you do when you're here. You make guardians. Trust me, I am an expert. Hive coming on up here. So we are just the crazier Zerg. Time for that crazy Zerg. We all know how much we love it. Oh, why? Oh, we flew over the Marines. Ah, oh, my heart. That hurts. That hurts to watch, guys. Whoop. 
Laying down some hate on some Yudas. Hive almost done. Our little jumpa boys here, ready to fight some Ren with gun. Unfortunately, losing Overlord always hampers that plan just a little bit. Yeah, Elevation, did you sign up for NSL? Oh, free scourge. All right. Tell my team to draft you. Don't you worry. Apparently, I'm part of the draft this year or this season. I didn't know. And then I got a notification from the Discord. And it's like, hey, you, got, um, you guys all ready for the draft on this day? And I'm like... Huh? And I'm like, wait, why do I have access to all these channels? It's like, oh yeah, you're part of the draft. I'm like, oh, that's good to know. See, <laughs> so, yeah, look at me, team captain, baby. I'm gonna have to step in and there's a draft. Um, they do. We do uh, live drafting. Oh, the overlords! No! No! Yeah, I'm a team cap, apparently, so I have to help with the draft. Well, oh, these marines are getting slaughtered, but kill that overlord. Kill that overlord. Just right-click it. Just right-click it. Just right-click it. Oh. Oh, if we'd killed that overlord, it would have been fine, because it would would have definitely hurt. Yeah, these are 1-1 one, one lings as we get ready for the altar transition. <laughs> Bro, Zerglings are just built different. Alright, D-Matrix on a Marine, not the Firebat. It, effective enough. Oh, we didn't... Alright. We micro back the marine that's dematrixed. Uh, could use some medics. I, I mean, I'm not a Terran player. I think we could use some medics. All right. Drop ships coming up here just to keep the game fun and interesting. Because Terrans hate Zergs. All right, we just taking the long way. Not really many of them left, actually. They're basically not a threat. At some point, you'll just take them to harass the Marines. <laughs> see if you can get some value out of them. All right, scan. See the Ultras popping. That's nice. Click on them. You see 3-1. You're like, oh, God, those things are strong. All right, one drop ship, two drop ships. Yes, I was literally about to say you should dematrix them for the fun, and then he did. Damn Terrans, they ruined Terran. <laughs> oh, I'm just happy he dematrixed the shuttle. It's like, here you go, bud. All right, we have to go in while the D-Matrix is active. Otherwise, it's kind of unfortunate. Because, like, imagine if the Scourge are, like, here, right? And we wait until the D-Matrix wears off. All right, here we go. Whoops. Maybe not here. <laughs> Alright, we're struggling against the sunken. That doesn't bode well. Oh. Grab an overlord. Drop some radiates. Ultra cavern just picked off. Alright, clean up the lings. Clean up the scourge.
All right, now this is just free irradiate. All right, we killed the Queen's Nest. Not a big fan of that. The Queen's Nest is really not the most useful building anymore. Yeah, he did for a moment, and that was great. I think killing the Ultra Cavern, great choice. Not then immediately targeting down the Evo Chambers, kind of sad choice. And this attack up here basically killed a sunken. <laughs> Not the greatest of trades. He does have a little bit of breathing room though because we do have to wait for another ultra cavern. So the cows on the field are the cows that are left. Yeah. The, the problem is there's still a lot of cows on the field. Yeah. Yeah, and these Ling... I mean, these are about to be feisty 2-2 two -two Lings. So, I mean, they don't mess around, you know? Alright, Stinky Cow will get popped. But don't worry, we have more. Cow Cavern being rebuilt, like I said. The added bonus of killing the Evos, right? Is that if your opponent doesn't react in time and doesn't cancel the upgrades, that money is just gone. For those of you StarCraft 2 folks out there that are used to like, oh, if I get if I lose my structure, it, I get refunded the money. Nah, -uh, uh that ain't how it goes here. If you can't can if you're bad at the game and you can't cancel it, you are SOL. Like me. I can't cancel it. Alright, these lings are um sacrificing themselves for the greater good. Or something. Ah, oh, this is painful. God, Repair is such a good unit, guys. Guys, this Mutus is going to kill this factory three hours later. Come on, you got this. You got this. Let's go. Ah, yeah. Woo. Terran at the last minute goes, oh, I'm about to lose that, aren't I? And then it died. That still only counts as one. Yeah, it doesn't even count as any, which is. This is number one bullshit. <laughs> Absolutely robbed. This is like someone dying to fall damage as you're shooting them in a game. And it's like, oh, they died to fall damage. You're like, no, no, I did all of that work and they died to fall damage, bro. All right, this forward base absolutely getting trounced, which isn't surprising because this is kind of the hardest base to hold on the map. But these interior ones are just bad. <laughs> I think out of the three of them, I think this is the worst actually. Like this one, you know, you get a little bit on the ramp here and then you have like this area you can control this one. Not too bad. I think this is actually the worst. Like it feels the most open. It's just, it's not good. You have this base, which is great. You have this base, which is great, and can start your drops going. A couple turrets here to keep the scourge back or something. You can really just start funneling troops here. You can go up here, you know, and then you're protecting your main. Once again, also choky, you know. Who doesn't like a little bit of Chokey? Yeah. <laughs> when you're running out of bases to take, yeah, you take these. But at that point, you've got 
You know, you're maxed out. You're doing a lot of crazy things. You're either you're on the map. Yeah, that's a solid choice. Zerg's got another main up, taking the top right corner. Oop. I don't play Terran, but I know exactly how Terran's supposed to be played. <laughs> Absolutely incredible take from Elevation here. <laughs> All right, these are five one ultras, five three. Sorry, I can't read today. Three one marines are only tickling them. All right, when your zerglings can take on fire bats, you know you went wrong. <laughs> you know it's like oop 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 tries to be fancy. Oh no. Double oh no. Oh, we could have had them all. We could have had them all. Sorry. Nope. I won't sing anymore. No more Adele. I promise. Rolling in the deep. No. No. <laughs> oh. All right. What a radiate off. Run. All right. We figured it's a great idea to surround the irradiated cow with everything that dies instantly. You'll love to see it. This unit is still on break. This man's still just enjoying his lunch. All right. When you can't fight through a choke, you go around. God, there's so many Marines here. Like, look how little damage they're doing. It's just happening so quickly because of how many Marines are here. Five, three cows. Good unit. You know it, baby. You see, when I have six armor and you're doing four damage to my several hundred health pool, maybe I'm not so worried. Yeah, it's, they're doing... Actually, they're doing three damage. So that's a hundred and... A hundred and... I don't know. A lot. Yeah, with regen. Wait, where, where the fuck? Excuse me. This Ergling's got five kills. I'm over here doing Matt. Oh, doom drop. Oh, God. He guys, he came out of retirement one last time. Guys, he came out of retirement one last time. He had one last job. Give his life to make sure that this drop really struggles. Zerg now has all the info they need. We've got snaky boys. All right, where's our army? Like, I feel like we Zerg is up in supply. He wiggle wizards. <laughs> That's like, oh, there's our army. Hello. He is ready for the drop. All right, so this is all ready for the drop. The doom drop that's not happening. I really like wiggle wizards. That's hilarious. Like, I, I got nothing better than that. Shit, anyone got anything better than that? Anyone? All right, there's a plague. Plague. All right, come on. Oh, dark swarm. I hope you're hungry cuz we got plague for dinner. Terran plague. Yep. 
Yo, Memnon, how you doing? Wiggle Wizard. Oh, man. Yeah, Wiggle Wizard is one for the books, guys. All right, this SCV has been in here since the beginning, guys. This man has had a 20 minute long smoke break. All right. Look at me. I am a drone. I am a drone, guys. Dude, you can't shoot at your bros like that. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I am a drone. Don't worry about me. <laughs> GG. Terran realizes he's so far behind as he comes in, sees this base. He's like, oh, oh, this is so over. Taps out. And suddenly we're at one each, baby. <laughs> GG. All right, we got copy pasta. I've been hungry. I love me some copy pasta for dinner. What do we got here? I just started playing and always pick the space bugs. I make the velociraptor dogs and the spitting xenomorphs and sometimes use the space cows. When they keep playing, I use the shrimp bats or the flying crab who throws grenades. If I get bored, I make the burrowing trapdoor spiders and even the wiggly lizard wizards. They give my units, <laughs> give their units coof. I'm only winning 95% of my games in the S section. How do I win 100% so I can get the best ending? Nellum, thank you for following on the back of that. <laughs> oh, man. <coughs> That's a good one. Uh, I, I think one of my favorites that I don't use very often anymore. But it's... um. EU stands for Eastern U.S. And it was named that when Chuck Norris went across the um, ocean in 1800s or something. Oh, God. Where, where is it? I definitely don't have a copy pasta document open at all times. It, I mean, yeah, it's definitely, I, I definitely, um, I definitely don't have this document open at all times. Guys, I have no idea what you're talking about. Nope. It, it doesn't exist. I promise. There's definitely not several different Eminem remixes for different streamers in here. <laughs> um, where, where is it? Oh, yeah. Europe was founded in 1848 by Walker, Texas Ranger, when he rode a horse across the Atlantic and called it Eastern USA, which eventually is just abbreviated to just EU. <laughs> Uh, Protoss is OP. Did you know that Protoss wins is a hundred percent of PVPs? Absolutely broken. I started playing. Always pick the space rednecks. I make the meth machine gunners and waifu healers. Sometimes the chain smoking motor bikers. When they keep playing, I use the German fighter jet dominatrix. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's. Mm. I can't believe I just got caught to say that on stream. Or the Invisible Spooky <laughs> does war crimes. If I get bored, I make the Gundam Walkers or even the Paper Planes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, the Gundam Walkers, man. Don't doubt them. Those are good units. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into game number three, and then we can keep Kappa Pastying, all right? Mm -hmm. I'm sticking with it. We're Kappa Pastying. Let's go. Yeah, now we need the Protoss one. Come on. No, actually, no. Save the Protoss one. Next series has a Protoss in it. Save the Protoss one for the next series. <laughs> All right, game three, top right hand side, red drones. Give it up for our fries. Get this man a shake to go with his fries. And in the lower left hand side with the purple SCVs. 
give it up for the aliens playing as the humans. Wait a minute. That, that's not confusing. Aliens as humans? Hmm. Hmm. Several hmms later. Dude, you know it's Eclipse, right? Where, where are you going, Overlord? Is he going to do like the cut over here to check for the like, eight racks down here, maybe? I mean, that's pretty big brain. I don't think... I think normally you send it like here and then over. But I also am not an expert. But we'll see. All right, no early pools, no early racks. Ah, yes. Yeah, so he is sending it down and over. Man, he's smart. Man's got them brains. All right, SCV scout. All right, 12 hatch it is. Oh, I mean, yeah. Have you ever seen a Terran drop below 300 APM? That's why they all wear sweatbands and shit. They're all like, oh, 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 got it all the buttons, got it all the buttons. <laughs> and like what they're doing is literally just like grabbing worker, telling it to bounce manually. They're like, oh, 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 guys, look, I I'm bouncing all my workers manually. Oh. And there you go. That's how you play Terran. All right. Both players getting a very good scout off on each other. Um, well, it depends. If you queue up against a Protoss immediately if you queue up against a zerg eh, six and a half minutes one like once the muters are out that's when you start crying or when lurkers hit you and you didn't scan and you're just screaming I, and against Terran you never do because it's an honorable matchup between two gentlemen and true gentlemen don't cry when fighting each other so yeah you don't cry in TVT. It's the honor, ultimate honor matchup. Guys, do I sound like a Terran yet? <laughs> this is a Terran propaganda channel. Despite being hosted by a Zerg player. Alright, there's the Academy. And you know what? Alien is doing this, right? One racks into Academy into second racks. A lot of people have switched back to two racks before Academy. And like, uh, who? Fuzzy. I was casting with Fuzzy Branch on Tuesday. And we were talking about this, how two racks seems to be like the, the more in style in, in, in at least CPL recently. And then here's Alien just like, mm, actually, I'm going to go ahead and do one rack do Academy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. CC's on the ground. We're going to go ahead and get some mining going. Plenty of Marines. We can push back whatever we want. Looks like it will be Mutas again. Yeah, buddy. Alright, so both players got their standard build order that they want to stick with. And they're both doing it pretty well. They know what they want to do when they're doing it, right? And that's what makes a solid tier two player. Send some lings in. Uh, they 
they didn't all quite make it home. I don't really want to tell the wives. Can, yeah, someone else is going to do that for me. I'm not doing condolence letters. Ooh, spicy. Hydroden coming down. So this is not crazy Zerg. This is much more standard sane Zerg. That's a lot of sunkens though. Considering you're going to have lurkers here. Alright. Man's got four scans banked up. Alright. Sees the spire. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't scan again. He just goes, oh, I saw the spire. Get my turrets. Feel good. So he... He will most likely have scanned. Oh. Oh, scanned the third base. It's not there. All right, yeah, and he's just getting his turrets ready. And in his defense, there are mutas out. So that will throw him off. But there's no bunker or anything at the front. If lurkers just walk up and just burrow. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's going to be a bad time. Wait, what? He never scanned the natural. He's going double tank? Double machine shop at least. Are you gonna do a, like a just a general mech switch, just out of the fucking luckiest thing you could do? Is our Terran truly the luckiest player in the history of lucky players? Or he's gonna get just like you know what? I think I'm gonna go mech on this map. <laughs> he must have scanned it then, like. He must have seen Hydras or something with a scan. Well, now he's got it. All right. Now he's got it for sure. But he must have seen a Hydra or something because he's got like all of the right answers. The Marines want it. They're not going to get it. All right, Queen's Nest coming on up here. Yeah, double tank in the single vessel production. All right, Alien has about this long to do anything. Or, oh, I'm sorry, Freeze has about this long to do anything. And <laughs> Alien just goes and siege, siege, brrr, win. All right, we are stacking our lurkers here, which is usually good against, you know, radiates, but it's really, really bad against tanks. <laughs> it's really bad against any form of splash, which is why you don't do it against storm. But oh boy, against, against bio, it is beautiful. All right, tanks are just coming on out. Third base. Thinking away here. And boom. Deadling. <coughs> All right. Get that overlord. Get him. Pop his birthday balloons. All right, we got a vessel here. The vessel makes everything easier. <laughs> He's like, oh, God, get the lurkers out of there. 
All right, he's coming in for the big 360 quick scope. Oh, the 360 quick scope doesn't do it. Oh, oh, he gets off one last. Absolutely a hot spine. Unfortunately, Terrence still knock, knock, knocking on your door. What are you gonna do about it? All right, drop more sunkins here. Reinforcements coming on up here. But yeah, realistically, this is uh, yeah, this is real good for Terran. Ooh, Ling's getting pulled in by their AI. Classic Zergling. They just want to fight. And that's too many tanks. All right. Honestly, that one bit of friendly fire, that right there is more damage than the entire Zerg army has done against these tanks. Ah, oh, it's so painful, guys. Just end my suffering, please. So many of my games look like this. Oh, God. Friendly fire is not friendly. One dark swarm's all it takes. We have no fire bats. He just ate another defiler and a lurker. That might be the most expensive meal you can order at this point in the game. Imagine eating your brother and only getting 50 energy. Bruh. Absolutely actually robbed. The best thing to do here is kind of like put some tanks here, some here, and some here. So when he dark swarms, he can only really dark swarm one chunk of it. Your army can continue to fight. Fart cloud. Oh, the links have made it in. All right, irradiate your own vessel and just park it. All right, we've killed that base. We are scanning everywhere else on the map. Make sure he doesn't actually have another base. And yeah. Zerg's got a bit of bank, but realistically, it's only mining one drone from this gas. Yo, diggity. How you doing? Ah, here it is. There's the eraser, guys. Just in time, diggity. We're here for the high quality eraser content. Oh. Uh, oh, uh, no. Oh, yes. Pull it right back to the bio. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. High quality eradi. <laughs> A bunch of Marines just popped. Oh, I hope your stream was good, man. I hope you're having a great night. All right, space cows are here, but they have zero upgrades. They don't even have one one. This is literally a joke for tanks. Tank looks at zero zero ultras and goes, am I a joke to you? Oh, hello, vessel with all the energy. Doing nothing. Like, this is the one vessel you need to be doing something. And it's got like 18 irradiates in them. 
Oh. And we pulled him out. Nice. Gone fishing. Flying unit immune from the from the smoke. GG. Zerg taps out. And Terran's gonna take game number three. Let's go. GG's. What a great series to start us off. What a great way to start. All right, for those of you who are just joining, let me show you what we're looking at tonight. We've got two groups on the table. First group, semifinals, Fighting Irish versus Seals, Tier 2 of Coach Pupil League. Next up, we got a FA versus Jarcino and an Elevation in Dwarf. And then, and then, and then, we have a whole nother group. The finals, baby. Oh, the finals. <laughs> so, yeah, that'll be right up after we finish this group up first. But, yeah, so don't go anywhere. We got a... It is. It is. It's the fighting Irish. Because if you say it with, like, a decent enough accent, it sounds right. Probletariats. <laughs> oh, you're on Probletariats? Nice. <laughs> Uh, that is actually really a really good one. <laughs> I'm gonna write that down and just steal that one away. <laughs> oh man, but yeah. We got a lot of good StarCraft tonight, I think. Right, thank you for all for hanging out. Alright, well, you know what time it is. It's time to get that Protoss copy pasta ready. We're going to take a quick hit here, and we're going to go right into game number one of series number two. Group number one. There's no number threes. Happy holidays. All right. In the top right hand side with the red scvs this isn't even shift tabbed they just pick these colors because they are chads give it up for fighting irish's fa really played into the fact that his name's got fa in it you love to see it and on the bottom right hand side our protest you know what Bloomy went ahead and wrote up something jarcino told him probably sent in like a dms or something probably posted in discord so let me go ahead and read this man's introduction that is in chat I just started playing and always picked the Fug Lore Spider Aliens. I make the pyramid that makes the Predator Claw guys. And sometimes I use the Ice Cube Beam. When they keep playing, I use the Cloud Ninja. Or the Wizard that does the Force Lightning. If I get bored, I make the Whale that shoots tiny Gala ships. And the Ghost Man with the lightsaber. Or even the Caterpillar. That is, quote unquote, direct from our source. The blue Protoss player, Jarcino. And look, there's one of them pyramids. <laughs> you love the ghost men and the force lightning? Ah, I see, I told you. I told you that was word for word something he said. You guys might not have believed me, but there it is. Proof is in the chat. Ah, oh, yes. All right, skipping the zealot, going straight into Cybercorp. Big old macro boy in Jarcino here, Jar Man. First, grab a jar. Patrick, that's a probe. Yes. All right, you know what? That was funny. That was funnier than it should have been. And I don't regret anything. All 
All right, factory coming on up here. No expand yet. Just going to go ahead and play some factory man. Marine out here to push back the um, probe coming in. Of course, with Protoss getting last scout, it's, it's giving Terran a lot of time to set up for this. Goon range and goon spinning away. Brrr. Poor probe. Gunned down in his prime. That, that probe pulled into the wrong driveway and got shot by these Marines. Where's the justice? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> too soon? Too soon? Kind of too soon. <laughs> kind of sort of too soon. <laughs> Hi, guys. This is how I got CPL YouTube banned. <laughs> All right, no vulture straight into machine shop. Interesting. So this is going to be much more defensive. Generally, if you want that map control, you'll build a vulture first. Oh, that means you're repairing a bit longer, but it means you'll have a vulture out here. Come over, lay some mines, see if you can snipe the worker going to the third. But instead, he's going to go tank. Probably siege mode first if you're committing like this. Siege mode is not something you want to get first, but if you're going to play defensively, it's, you know, you might as well. We'll see. Natural finishing on up here. Uh, two gate robo, baby. Pew, pew. Pew, pew. All right, get, go on, get, get out of here. He's actually not getting any of the machine shop upgrades yet, which is interesting. All right, there it is. The moment I say it, he's like, oh yeah, siege mode. Good idea. Dunk. Efe, stop listening to me in the past. All right, there's the armory. Citadel, yeah. Everything is proceeding as I have foreseen. So yeah. NGV coming up for the anti-DT turrets. Yeah, just in case you want any of those invisible men, we're going to go ahead and say no to that. Man, this is just a solid tier 2 game, you know? I know I said that about the last series, but this series also just solid tier 2 play so far. I love to see it. Second factory coming on up. Plus one. I think this is how you do it. This is how you go from tier 2 to tier 1. Just play solidly. <coughs> this turret. Good anti-shuttle, anti-observer. Really bad anti-DT. Those DTs just kind of walk over here and start targeting it down. You get the goons over here. And you put it back here, not a chance in hell he's getting to it. Oh, it sneaks on through. Did it, did it. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, turret man with the greatest eyes ever. Oh. Dude, someone give this man a raise. Or hook me up with his eye doctor. Because, oh my god, I need whatever he's got on his eyes. That man saw like three miles and went, ah, there's an observer. Brrr, got him. All 
All right, and we are just producing tanks. It's a big gap here. You can just like shuttle in some something and just drop it here. No challenge. All right. Factory explosion. Protoss just piloting, piloting up. Arbiter Tribunal and Forge coming on up here. Forge on two bases is an interesting choice. With your more standard these days is much more third, if not fourth bases when you drop the Forge. This man's dropping on two bases here. We'll see how that affects anything. Alright, all the tanks moving on out here. Nope. This man said nothing but tanks. I mean, tanks are pretty good. And he's going to start vulture production, but... Luckily for him, our boy uh, Mr. Sino here hasn't really made a whole lot of zealots yet. So this is timing up very well. As the zealots are coming up, so are the vultures. We got mines and speed researching. It definitely means he doesn't have map control. He's kind of given up on that. But also, he's got nine tanks already. <laughs> and poor Protoss has just kind of looked at this and goes, Oh, no. All right, we're going for a bit of a move out. Leaving one very awkwardly placed tank. Yeah, no, he's for sure he's getting there. Okay, we don't really want to take this fight on Siege. Oh, <laughs> and he stormed his own observer. Of course he does. Zealot bombing. Oh. All right. Well. We got stuff happening. Oh, get wrecked, goon. Get wrecked, nerd. Oh, well. And now every man's an invisible man. Do you really think every citizen has the right to be invisible? Think of the public safety. Think of the children. All right, mech boys have hit the field. Now they're dangerous because they shoot up and down. I don't know if you know this, but that, that makes them real good. <laughs> well, they, um, Darren accidentally found his way in here. Yeah, he's getting there. Got a bunch of probes. To be honest, once he got in there, that was kind of a one-way mission. Yeah, you have a couple of tanks and a vulture in here and two vultures that are just kind of derping. It was kind of a one-way trip at that point. Oh, did someone say free high Templar? Instant worth, instant worth. <laughs> Two high Templar for three volts every day of the week. Every day of the week and twice on Sunday because that's the Lord's Day.
And we should try extra hard on the Lord's Day. Yeah. Bonus round. We've already used the mines. Now they're just three vultures. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! All right. No more invisible invisibleness for our boys. Our boys in blue are now visible. I mean. <laughs> and BWCL. Yeah, that's true. I do love some BWCL on Sundays. Yeah, this Saturday I have to go to Kansas, so I don't know if I'll be home Sunday for that, actually. I didn't know we were staying the night until my boss was like, oh, yeah, they got us all rooms. And they're like, they're actually really cheap, but they're in a nice place. And I'm like, oh, oh, this is my weekend. Got it. So, yeah. <laughs> Download some ASL VODs and uh, enjoy. Yeah, it's some like <laughs> through the door jam. <laughs> Only if they're yelling at each other. Only if they're yelling at each other, my people do the door jam. Then I'm totally down. No, but it's like it's some um, like a courtyard or a Marriott or something. It's like actually like a decent hotel. But it's just because one of the band members, she. Basically, she works for school, and there's a gig for the school, and that's what it is. And so, because of that, she gets a discount on hotels. Mm. Alright. High Templar bombing. Hell yeah. Storm storm the tanks. Don't forget my... No, I... Trust me. It, ignorance is bliss. Oh, this poor guy. No, my man. Wait, no, no, no. This is for the race transition. When he needs to micro his race, that's what that's for. <laughs> All right, 4CC going down on location. With zero defenses, ready for it. No turds or anything at the third. This man is playing by his own rules here. Thankfully, Protoss is abiding by these rules. He's got some mines there and some unseized army that was over here. I don't know. Try and push back the Arbiters. In general, shuttles stopping the storm and shuttle bombing that's been happening consistently. Oh no, we're shooting our own vulture! No! Betrayal. Alright, vulture checking the bottom left just in time for the probes to be here. Uh, this is nice. If we were paying any attention, this man's attention is split in literally every direction, though. Oh, yeah. This army's going to get cleaned up here. But there's always another army. There's always a bigger fish. Protoss, very sad about the loss of this main. Could you go ahead and take the mineral only here? Bro, I just vibe, and he's like, "Man, I just want to play Macro Simulator." All right. Terran's going up to two two. Protoss, I'm just going up to two one. Uh 
Humble two ones, you know. Oh. All right, storm on the single tank. Not the greatest storm ever. High Templar also gets a move there. That's a much better storm. That's at least two tanks. Oh, we stormed our own. Oh, no, stop, stop. Uh, storms don't affect buildings. Oh, no. Yeah, you can't just run Gateway Man into the Terran army and expect to win. Artosis. All right, guys. I'm going to tell you a secret. Terrans have been lying to you for years. You can't just walk into Terran uh, lines and win as Gateway Man. It really just doesn't work like that. I don't care what Artosis said. I don't care what anybody else said. It's just not how that works. Ooh, shiny blue crystal. No, no, uh, uh, Terran propaganda in the chat, guys. Guys, this is absolute propaganda. Don't listen to it. <laughs> well, yeah, but carriers are carriers are different, you know. That that's like a unit that flies against units that walk, you know. Ah, yes, Zerg. Zerg's really sending it to the Terrans right now. Why does this one rally to that one? <laughs> Look at these vaults going to town. They killed a pylon. They killed a nexus. They're going to kill that assimilator eventually. All right. No, they did. If you give vultures a few hours, they will kill anything. I think he's a I think at this point he's getting a little bit flustered. Right? You know you know how it is. If you play, you know. You hit that point where you're just like trying to keep up and you end up like kind of messing yourself up. GG. He's gonna tap out of game number one. But I, I think that is one of those moments where it's just you're kind of in your own head and you're like, all right, I just I just need I just need I just need and you're not really paying attention to what's in front of you. And so you end up just like, oh, I'm going to produce a bunch of tanks. I need tanks because my army needs to be tanks. And then you don't really think about the fact that there's a lot of, you know, zealots there. Yeah. Overall, though, I think he did pretty well. Obviously, you know, kind of falling apart there at the end. But I think that, I mean, it kind of happens to anybody when they fall. <laughs> at the end of a game, you tend to fall apart like that. It happens to the best of us. Also, guys, I did a thing. There are emotes. There are... There's like follower emotes, like G all the GGs are follower emotes. The BRB emotes a follower emote. I did a thing because someone asked me to do it and I totally forgot about it until recently. But I think that's it for my follower emotes. Yeah. Three different GGs, one for each race, and then a BRB. Then I made a heart. I made a heart emote. That one's paywalled. Inspired by um, someone, uh, Pylon Harding, Firebat Hero. I don't remember who it was. We were talking about it mm, two, three streams ago. Oh, Jericho, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, heart, heart. That's how I feel. <laughs> but yeah, we were watching the VOD where someone did that to Firebat Hero. And I'm like, I need this, but just like a little bit better. So that way I can properly emote it. And there I did. <coughs> But all right, guys, let's go right ahead into game number two. Let's see what they got for us.
much. Ah, yes. Thank you. Yes. You are right. In the top. Center position. All right. Oh, tech buying his emotes. <laughs> Give it up for a fay. And his opponent in the lower left hand side with the blue probes. Give it up for Jarcino. Yeah. I also thought about getting a um an emote of when he stasted all the SCVs. He comes and he stays like 12 or 13 SCVs. I kind of want that for like a BM emote. But I need to do a little bit. I want to do a little bit more tweaking with it. You know? Hmm. I think what I'll do is probably load up a game against an AI play a pro dot set him into Terran go over basically win the game at the beginning go up get dark archons mind control and SCV and build up my own Terran base and then stasis it and screenshot it for the emote I gotta be careful I'm almost out of emote slots hey I think I have one more follower and one more sub emote available. And then one tier two, one tier three. But. <laughs> exactly. You know, we're protecting the boys. Welcome back, Elevation. Oh, this guy's got moves like Jagger. Look at him dance. So far, nothing tricky from either player. Oh. Oh, Marine was paying attention. Damn. I was hoping for some sneaky pylons or something. <laughs> ah. Ah, this is fine. This is this is some sort of Sim City, I promise. All right, two gates, dragoons. No range yet. There it is. Terran jam. I need to make it a jam emote. I started working on masking out uh, Jadong doing the dance in the school gym when he was cross-dressed. I started um, masking that out and I just haven't finished. I'm like, oh, that's, that's actually a lot of work. Because if I did it, I want to do it right. Mask out frame by frame. So instead of having like a square emote, it's like actually him doing the dance. All right. It needs to be like a five second clip. At 24 frames a second, all right? At 24 frames a second. Yeah. This is 24 by 5. It's 100 and something frames. Yeah, it's just one of those. I don't have time anymore. Oh, we're going DTs. That's cool. It's going to get scouted. I've actually realized that I just don't have time to do things anymore. Oh, Goon's getting in position right time. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, DTs are gonna... Yeah, invisible men good. But I, I think I might have to take Tuesday off next week. Like I have Saturday, I'm taking Saturday off from streaming, obviously, because I'll be going out of town. But I think I might take Tuesday off. Because I need to, one, clean my apartment. <laughs> it's been sorely lacking. I need to, like, get graphics done. I need to redo my OBS. Like, I just don't have the time anymore, it seems like. 
Always trying to produce streams and content for you lovely people. This Dragoon took way too much damage. Oh, Tank is being stupid. Tank forgot how to walk. Oh, he figured it out, guys. Oh, hit this goon. Oh. <laughs> Don't, no respect for that tank. Nope. No mines. No NG. Yeah, this is over. Oh, and the bunker's going to die? No. Oh, he just saves it. Oh, my lord, guys. All right. Here comes my invisible men with lightsabers. Bzoom, bzoom. All right. Did it, 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 did it. Siege mode is done. Did it, did it, did it. Machete. All right, five, four, three, two, one, GG. No, 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 this is where you GG. This game's over. Ah, okay, there it is. Ah, okay, T classic Terran GG timing. <laughs> 30 seconds after it should have been. <laughs> GG's. <laughs> you forgot the part where you account for DTs. <laughs> Durr. <laughs> you love the lightsaber. Ah, uh, Protoss is, am I right? <laughs> Mind Academy. Nah, 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 nah. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Tanks. Tanks, on the other hand. Tanks, good unit. GG's. That's a point for the seals. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to go out on a ledge here and say that our tier two players are not pros. I love our tier two players. Tier two players are great. Not as great as our tier three players. No bias, but no, they're great. No, no, the worst, the worst is when playing Zerg, right? Doing my thing, doing my thing, doing my micro, getting ready for a fight. Go back to my base to macro and all my drones are gone. And I'm like, mother fuck. <laughs> God, invisible men. Mm. Invisible men making me so mad. Uh, the fact that you don't get alerts if your units get one shot. Literally just says it literally just to like make sure Zuri loses. <laughs> Alright guys, we got one more series in this group. Let's see which way it goes. Drum roll, please. -da 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 All right. Spawning here in the bottom right hand side with the peach colored SCVs. Give it up for the angriest man around. It is Dwarf. And in the top left hand side with the baby puke green drones. God, come on, Elevation, do better. It is our boy, Eleva. T I zero and elevate T and zero and let's go. All right, cross spawn. Of course, you know Zerg and Terran—they aren't greedy like Prodosses. 
I mean, Zerg's going to do a 12 hatch anyway, but, you know, they're not greedy. <coughs> I just don't get my name right. You're welcome. I, I try. It's better than Havior, who picked a name that's literally spelled Havior. And he's like, no, it's Havior, like Savior. And I'm like, huh? <laughs> Kidding. Havior's a great guy. All right. Barrick's coming on up here. It was hilarious that I did say ha Havior for like a year and change. And he's like, one day, like, oh, no, it's Havior, like Savior. And I'm like, what? What? All right. We're gonna do twelve, eleven, ten. All right, all right, all right. Twelve, eleven, ten. Perfectly fine on a four-player map. Taryn, meanwhile, not going for a wall. Wall is this is the best spawn to do a wall if you are gonna wall at the natural because it's where your marines pop out on the right side. But. Electing not to do that. Instead, just huddling up in the main base in case something scary happens. Gotta worry about them scary zerglings. As he gets across the map, sees that there's no scary zerglings coming. He's like, alright. Guess I can just go ahead and drop a command center. All right, layer coming on up here. Elevation, thinking about a third base, maybe. All right, just chasing the SCV away. All right, so we should see two edge layer versus two racks before Academy, presumably. Presumably. No. Mm, factory. Factory. All right. Vultures or mech, guys? What do we think? Vultures or mech? Yep. Yeah, 2.5 hatch as that third hatch goes down. So point two and a half hatch muta versus mech. All right, we are fully cutting marine production. I'm expecting, um, well, cause you could do like a couple of vultures into more marines, right? Like you don't, if you go one or two vultures, it doesn't mean you're going mech. But if you want to actually go full mech, you know, then you go Goliaths into tanks. You know, there's nuance. There's nuances to Terrans, surprisingly. All right, SCB gets um, beat up in the back alley of a Zerg base. Oh, shoot, it's a 1-1-1. One, one. Okay. Yeah, Valkyrie, Valkyrie. Oh, man, I haven't actually casted a lot of Valk builds. It, it feels like as popular as they are, they just never happen in games that I cast. All right, armory's almost done. All right, we're getting that um, that pretty German dominatrix lady, right? That's what the copy pasta said. All right, so it is just gonna be uh, Valk build. Are we gonna get plus one? We're gonna do the Valk OP build. Ah, yes. Oh. All right, the Lings are getting on top of the bunker. Oh, if we lose the bunker, I mean, then the 
Valks won't matter. Oh, repair good unit. Chaos GPT. All right, there she comes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is the German ladies now. They are here to, to win. They will win the war. Worst ways to die. Alright, mutants will come in here. Dive like absolute madmen. Alright. <laughs> Valkyrie gets two mutants for free. Oh, did I say two? I meant three. Oh, never mind. I did say two. Alright. She's too good to deal with that one. Like, nah. Nah. Not today. <coughs> All right, more Valkyries. No plus one, so it's just a standard Valkyrie build. Light would be disappointed. I think it's the light that's making the Valk OP build popular, right? I don't. Know. I don't keep up with who makes the build. I just keep up with the builds. And even though that's a, it's, ah, it's a 50 50 sometimes. <laughs> Depends on how much it affects Zerg. Alright, yeah, it is light. I need to catch up with my ASL. I think I'm going to do that. Four hour drive to Kansas while I'm riding, so I can catch ASL there. Now, a four hour ride back, plus a night in a hotel room. So, I mean, yeah. I think I'm going to catch up on ASL this weekend. Shit. That's nice. All right, we got Scourge coming on up here. Second group of Mutas coming. All right, we have three Valks, so that's a scary number. All right, three Valks, uh, six damage per rocket, six or eight rockets per barrage. I don't actually remember. Oh, and remember, every rocket always hits because Terran needed more easy units. Oh, look at this micro. Oh, my Lord. Is it eight? Thank you, chat. You can't kill. You can't kill the German waifu like that and get wrecked. All right, come on. Shoot. So many overlords just died. So many overlords just died. All right, I need you to shoot. That was eight. One, two, three, four. It says six per rocket. All right, we're going to get in here. There's no sunkens. There's no lurkers. Yeah, so it's four sets. Four sets of two. Oh, I know it's six per rocket. Yeah, but it's um, eight rockets for a total of some amount of damage. That doesn't miss, by the way. Oh, no, the medics. Eight times six is a number. For legal reasons, I am not allowed to do math on stream. Yeah, 69 sounds about right, honestly. No, no, no. Actually, no. The correct answer today is 420. Come on. Everyone, that, that's pretty obvious. You know, we're it's CPL 420. It is April the 20th, which has no significance in any sort of way. And yeah, we have no lurker defense, by the way. 
We're trying to get a tank out, but I got... <laughs> if you're having lurker problems, son, I, I feel bad for you, son. That 99 problems and lurkers aren't one. Oh, we could go in there. We could bust that. Come on, Elevation. No, oh, no, he's going to respect it like a good player or something. Where's the out of energy medic? There she is. She's trying. She's doing her best, guys. <laughs> Siege to finish. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so we can flatten you as you run in. Got it. <laughs> no. All right, Evo Chamber. More hatcheries coming up. Hive. A lot of Valkyries being a lot of useless right now. What you could be doing is sending these guys around the map. Just kind of like A-click, A-click, A-click. And then what you do is you just you let them farm overlords for you, right? Now look, as a Zerg, I don't want to tell you that. Because that makes me mad. But also, you should probably get a little bit of value out of these guys. Now that the Muta phase is over. <laughs> the era of Muta is over. Long live the Hydra. All right. As we're containing the Terran, I'd love to see maybe a fourth base coming on up here at some point. Terran is getting ready to move out here, so. As long as we keep him sieging up, you know, we're fine. Oops. He looked at me. Run. All right, boys, get out of there. This where you hold position. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe waiting for the thing that makes him super strong wasn't the thing. Oh, the lurkers are dropping like flies. Oh, yeah, no, that's... um. Yeah, it's too reminiscent of my games. All right. We're going to go ahead and blast away some eggs. Oh, that Hydra got wrecked. Yeah. I mean, neat little micro, but now all of a sudden, now we have three lurkers. Well, we're going to try this again. All right, we do have a Defiler Mound. So Hydra Lurker Viper is our next play here. <laughs> and now we have three expensive units. Perfect. You know, if you're going to lose them, you might as well lose to the good ones, right? All right, Plegu on the way. No Snake Boys have actually hit the field yet. We're still only on three bases. Oh! Oh. That was unfortunate. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, great D Matrix. <laughs> yeah. You have double the drones of the Terran, basically. Yeah. Remember, Terrans don't know how to macro, they just all in. Every build is a Terran all in somehow. Dwarf, are you going to answer for your crimes? I know you're here somewhere. I know you're here somewhere, Dwarf. Answer for your crimes. Alright. Nom, nom, nom. Eat some Hydras. What a tasty beverage. 
The wiggle wizards. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Burn around, meow, meow, meow. Is that still rel re relevant? Is that still relevant to say? I feel like it's not. I feel like that's very. Oh, look at the plague. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, this is what I was saying. Just do that. Oh, the overlords just popping like flies. All right, we're eating drones. It's fine. Drones are expendable. Probably tastes like chicken. If I had to guess. Maybe more like um crabs. Like you, I like spine. You can't eat this, right? I I feel like the um flappy skid is not really um. I don't think that's the. I think you like you kind of like crack it open and eat the meat inside the shell, you know. <laughs> Am I out of touch? No, it's the kids who are wrong. Oh no. Uh, and you're part of the pavement. <laughs> oh, that's so painful to watch. Only because I understand how painful it has have happened. Oh, and it gets sniped. No. No. Every Simpsons quote is a timeless quote. Alright. Well, he knows that base is coming up. Alright, we're sending some boys over there. Go, go, go. I'll cover you. Um... We are. We are winning. Us, the viewers. We are the winners right now. Oh, this is a nice back and forth game. Drop going down in the top right. Oh, no. The paniclings. The, oh, God, I need units now. It never works. It, trust me. You might think that just hitting the ling button works. It doesn't. Look, the Defiler's job is to produce the swarm. If you can't make it to the swarm, that's on you. All right, one sunken. Not really enough to deal with this, surprisingly enough. All right. Valk's doing Valk things. We are going to get this cleanup, though, from behind. We're on top of the tanks. Oh, we goofed. Dark Swarm works both ways. Oh, Plague. <laughs> ah, my neighbors must hate me. Yeah. Ho, 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 ho. That's fine. Need that gas, especially on today. Today of all days, you need that gas. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. What are these doing here? All right, they're going and grabbing the mineral only. Not the play right now, unfortunately. As we look at your bank of um, 1,500 minerals and 200 gas, taking the mineral only is probably the worst thing you could do. No, no, no. To be fair, the worst thing you could do is not taking another base. This is the second worst thing. Yeah, but Mass Hatchling is not going to win you this game. 3-2 stimmed bio doesn't give a damn. You need hydras, you need lurkers, you need defilers. Or you need to go into ultras. You know what you can't afford? On a depleted gas? Like one one gas and one depleted gas? You can't afford ultras, damn it. <laughs> Lings are at 01. 
Damn. This is the beginning of the end, chat, I think. Supplies are looking equal, but don't let them lie to you. One of these supplies is a lot better than the other. Elevation putting up one hell of a fight, but... Oh. <laughs> this one hero lurker. <laughs> Dude, this lurker is just doing his job. My supplies. No, no, not quite. I mean, uh, competitive supply is fine. All right. This is good. Getting in here, killing the mineral only. That hurts tearing quite a bit. So you're saying there's a chance. All right. I am. I am, in fact, saying there's a chance. Get your hope beam out, chat. All the vessels popping to hydras is actually what's going to win them the game here. Oh, another plague. Ooh. And, um, did he just do it? Guys, is it, is it done? Is it plague city? Did it cast tier two five? I don't know. I, since there's only four final series to cat or four groups. I I took the tier three one. I know uh, Love Snow is taking the tier z zero. We are figuring out how we're going to distribute the rest currently. What the hell is this? Oh, it's a lurker. I get one. Let me click on it. That's weird. Oh man! Get them, boys. All right, the lurker survived somehow. And then he gets shot. Sorry, son, you're in the wrong neighborhood. Brrr. This is my driveway. All right, Zerg mining on one base, but oh, he spent his bank, guys. He spent that bank that he had. Good thing hydras are literally free. And this is probably going to break Dwarf here. I mean, if we send him in in a conga line like this, maybe not, but. Hmm. Top three trains of all time. Hydra train. Yeah. No, this is where, this is really where you'll see it is in that, um, like, I don't want to say the remax, but like the the rebound after the fight, yeah. We're radiating hydras. Something about that feels wrong, but it's fine. Good egg micro. Oh. I do love the irradiates, but that's a lot of APM for like realistically not much. All right, we irradiate the lurker as it dies. Oh man, with gun is so good. Don't count him out. Time out, time out, time out, time, time out. Hold up. Elevation. Do you care to explain this one? At all? Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh, man, the lurkers are just incredible. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. Dun, 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 dun. 
All right, top right gets denied. That's nice. All right. The idea is just cracklings. All right. And that's the neat part. You don't. It's not an all-in if you expand. At that point, then it's a macro game. We are at a 26-minute all-in, guys. This is classic Terran. There's so many links here that are just not helping. 3-3 three, three bio versus 0-2 oh, links. I, I, I don't want... I think... Terran still has a very good shot here. Well, that one the sunken's finish. Come on. Yep. Yeah, Alright. Oh, these are sunkening now. Oh my lord. Look at how efficient this is. Oh my god. Oh, and the song's even hitting the D-Matrix one. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, it wasn't glorious at all. Get out of here, you Terran propagandist. Oh. Note to self. Put this one on YouTube while I'm gone. The people deserve to see this. All right. Um, drones come in here and get a kill. Run, boys, run. He had him earlier. He's just broke. He's not mining any gas right now, my man. He, like, he's actually flat broke. That's why he doesn't have defilers currently. Well, the only base he had was the mineral only. I mean, yeah, these could be mining, but they are essentially empty. One gas, like one functioning gas is not enough for any amount of real defiler play. Especially when your opponent still has six vessels. Scotty doesn't know, guys. Guys, our Terran player's name is now Scotty because he doesn't know. As he's scanning, he's got Marines. He doesn't know, though. But yeah, this is game over. Like, this is quite literally game over. All right, 10 supply versus 83. Yeah, but we only actually have two drones mining here. The other three are on this depleted gas. So, essentially, it's two drones versus nine. Granted, not much money left here, but there's still money left. Also, that still means Terran is up in, like, 80 supply. Oh, we're raiding all of the overlords. Oh, this is abusive. I don't know. I mean, that's this is still a fair amount of marine medic when you can't afford. When you can afford two sets of scourge and that's it, it guys. Like a dwarf's got to be wondering, like what's happening here. Oh, we shoot the eggs so they don't even pop. Dude, look at it. He's looking everywhere. He's like, you've got to have some. Bro. Bro. Bro, you even see it. Oh, three... 
Three overlords just popped. Dude, these vessels have been putting in the hours. Oh, we got one Zergling, guys. One Zergling. Hopium. Get your Hopium out. Do we think we do we think the one Zergling can do it, guys? Oh no! Ah, oh, he found the mining base. <laughs> Cancels the defiler and the zergling because one sunken's gonna save him. GG. Finally, elevation taps out. What a wild and wacky game. Oh my lord. <laughs> Guys, that was game one. That was game one. There's at least one more game. Whew. Everyone take five. Everyone grab a br everyone get a breather. That was like sixty nine minutes. Nice. Ah, uh, people stop pinging me. Ah. Happy 420. This one's for you, Fuzzy Branch. Nice. <coughs> yeah, like a hit and a half there. <coughs> All right, guys. So this is our last series in this group. Then I'll take a quick break. And then we still have a whole nother group. It's the finals, guys. CPL 9 finals. We've made it. 15 weeks in the making. And we finally made it, guys. Ah. What am I going to do for free content now? Uh, I need it. <laughs> I have to start streaming StarCraft 2 again. Hmm. <laughs> I'm kidding. We we do stream a bit of StarCraft 2, just normally on Saturdays. And, um, all right. I unironically have an OnlyFans that I made three years ago when we were all talking about it during COVID. Forgot the login. Doesn't have anything on it. <laughs> it just exists. Literally, we were in Discord one night. This is when I worked overnights, and I was talking with Australians. And we were like, it, like this OnlyFans was on the rise. And I was like, oh, yeah, make one as a joke. And we all made them. And I just don't remember my login info. I just remember that it exists. Mmm, look at this fan. Click. <laughs> my joke was going to be um, computer building. And like computer stuff. And like that was going to be my joke. And then, yeah. Mm -mm. Totally forgot. Kinds <laughs> and shapes and colors. I do like kinds and shapes and colors. Especially when they're different. Yes, they did. And that was kind of the inspiration for like what I wanted to do as a joke. No, no, you don't understand. They were talking. Linus Tech Tips. <laughs> no, Linus Sex Tips was great. <laughs> All right. They made, I think he said something like $30,000 in a month with the OnlyFans. Like, he was instantly the top creator. It must have been more than 30K because he was instantly number one on the platform. <laughs> like, instantly. They uh, talked about it on a WAN show. Like, I think, like, the week, like, after a few weeks, they had talked about it. And they're like, yeah, this is like, we stopped it because it was meant to be a joke. But it was one of the most profitable jokes we've ever done. <laughs> oh, man. I wish I was that big where I could just do crazy things. <laughs> just, 
Like, you know, fuck it. April Fools were starting on OnlyFans and making it really suggestive, but it's realistically like, according to them, like the number one thing was just like, can I get a photo of uh, Linus working? Because apparently you can like pay extra money to send in a request. And so they like were just getting someone. It's like, hey, can I get a photo of Linus working? So James would just go up, click, and just walk away. <laughs> and it's like, oh man, someone paid like twenty bucks for that. <laughs> Ah, the internet, man. Makes me mad that people pay for shit like that. But alright, let's go ahead and get into the next game on our last series. For this group. Alright. Spawning here in the top center with the purple SCVs. Give it up for a uh, dwarf. And his opponent in the lower right, going for the mind games with the black drones. Give it up for Ely. Vait. I zero N. Because that's going to get painful later. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. All right. Three player map. Slightly more cheesable. Also, probably not going to see any cheese because, like, these guys are good. Oh, oh okay. Extractor trick. Do love to see a good extractor trick. All right, what are we going to do with it? We 10 hatch, 10 pool. What's the plan, my man? Uh, t ooh, ooh, 10 hatch. 10 hatch. Not very common, but I like it. That is, in fact, the way. I like it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. I've heard both ways. Honestly, it is something that every Zerg will argue about. Like, is it really worth it? Is it really not? Is it worth it to like, do like a 10 9, you know, versus like a 9 9? Like, I have heard every side of that argument. I've heard people say back and forth in earnest that one's better than the other. And I truly don't know. I don't have the answer for you. I don't do it personally because I'm kind of stupid and forget. But also, I think it's a cool mechanic, if nothing else. I think it's just really cool that you can do that. <laughs> build a thing. Ah, nope, I actually didn't want to build the thing. Three heads before gas with a pool. All right. Lings ask chat GPT. Yeah, I all right. Cat GPT, I might trust. Chat GPT, I trust about as much as I trust Taste Toasts to talk about the game in front of them. All right. Refineries coming on up here. Drones are sneaking on in. Oh, don't shoot! Don't shoot! You murder! Look at this. This is the face of a killer. Know it well because it's what you look like. It's actually a mirror. Meow. Meow, meow, meow. 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 He has such a way with words. <laughs> All right. We got Huey Lewis up front and the news in back. Uh, I got bad news, though, for the news. There's a uh, bunker full of men here that would see nothing else other than you lose. 
Oh, bunkers. Well, this is awkward. Now we're kind of stuck. You can't run out because you've lost too many links. you got to get something done. Go, 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 go. All right. We're going to get in. We're going to get the full scout. We see the factory coming on up here. So if nothing else, he's at least scouting everything. Bit of an expensive scout, but I'll take it. Layer, but no tech. Oh, he's going to drop the spire super late. Really just trying to like play mind games with the SCV, but SCV's just going to come back in here and see it. Like, How much did that really help? Oh, keep juking, keep driving. Oh, here come the dogs. Oh, 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 no. He got got, guys. All right, one, one, one. Valkyries, Valkyries, Valkyries. I like this. I like this a lot. All right. Comtats coming on up here. We got turrets. All right. Overlords pop so you can afford to build all those mutas. All right, what are we doing? If I don't absolutely smack my mouse across the desk, that'd be great. All right, here come the flappy boys. The sky shrimp. Look at them flap. Little brother trying to be cool. They like, wait up, bro. I just want to be cool like you. Right. Oh, starting to really lose a couple mutas here. All right, Valk is here. That's gonna ruin the fun. Oh man, who called the Valks? Good split off here. You split up your mutas here so that way if the Valkyrie chases, obviously you can only get one group. Okay, Ash GPT. I'm down. Alright, we're gonna dive back in here, get a little bit of damage. Oh, and we lose a Muta. Rip. All right, we're taking the hatch down here. A bit out of the way. Terran's less likely to spot this until he's sweeping the edge with his drops. All right, Scourger here. Oh... Oh, ho, ho, elevation. No. Uh, well, that's GG. Yeah, he, he literally is already pulling all the boys. Well, it's not even that it was a lot of gas, which it was, right? We could nitpick this all day long. But the main thing is he has zero army right now. Like, that was it. The Hydras were the, or the Mutas were the plan. <laughs> now there's no plan.
Oh, that's close. And now we forced out, what, two, four, six sunks here. And we got a tank. Dwarf on top of his transitions. Siege mode about halfway done. Once it's done, man, this is going to be a bad time for Zerg. Very true. Right now he's bunkering up here because he knows the lurkers are coming. Would love to see him drop like even an in in base uh, neck. Uh, build the command center in your base if you really are scared or something, right? Build it here to float here. Build it here, float it here. Oh, Lurker's like, no, 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 get me out of here. All right, well, tank's a bit confused. Oh, they're going to walk right into the sunken. You ready for this, guys? You ready for free tank? Just kidding. Tanks are too good. They don't actually die. All right. Well, Zerg is on a timer. He has approximately 18 seconds to do something before he GG. And that something is somehow kill two tanks and this entire bio ball. Like you need, you just need to win this fight. Like no questions asked. You just need to win. We don't even have link speed. Third tank arrives. And that 18 second window is closing quickly. Alright, we kill one tank. Oh, lurkers are a good unit. Oh, but all of our lurkers are stacked, so the tank shots are doing a lot of splash. Oh, no. Damn. Damn. All right, flanking lurker is trying his best. And he's no longer with us. Uh, Ling's going in single file. Nope. All right. Well, this base is set up. I mean, it's. Zerg's not critically losing half his mining. Not great to lose your natural, but like, you know, can live with it since he does have another base. All right, Valkyries getting, earning their keep. Oh, he spots the creep. Oh, that's huge. If he pays any attention, that's huge. I think he was paying attention, guys. Oh, no. Maybe he's going for the main. All right. D Matrix on the tank. Dude, man with gun. Man with gun, good unit. All right. <laughs> I 
Yeah, now this is GG. Say GG. Say GG. <laughs> Wait, why? Why are we? Why are we picking up here? All right, he's drilling. You got to Now you look. Come on, man. You know it's here. You saw the creep. He just drilled. Put two and two together. You got this. You do, uh, no, all right. You, you don't got this. Oh, you might got this. Guys, I think he figured it out. No, he didn't figure it out. Never mind. Elevation taking the entire bottom left hand side. All right, at some point you got to go, huh? Where's he got the money for this? There we are. There's the drop. It's finally like, wait a minute. Here's that base that I saw. Ah, oh, beautiful spot to drop. One sunken can't really beat a medic. So yeah. GG is called and like that dwarf is going to take the series. And that is another point for the Southeast Asian laggers. Unfortunately though, they did not make it. Unfortunately, despite how good their tier two showed up, they didn't quite make it into the finals. They put up one hell of a fight, guys. Unfortunately, the finals is the Fighting Irish versus the best team. Let's go, Jin Jin and the Panda Patrol. Let's go. All right, guys. We will get to this here in just a minute. I'm going to take a quick break. And then we'll be right back. Yeah, laggers as in they lag because they're um Southeast Asia. All right. Don't go anywhere.
All right. Look at that emote getting used. Escalade would be so proud. He spent all of, I'm sure, 30 seconds making it. And then I had to square it. Because he didn't actually make a square emote. But all the soccer loggers got me interested in one. All right, maybe a second one. But it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We got three hours of video game ahead of us, according to the replay timers. Plus this. <laughs> Let's go. It's going to be a late night, baby. All right, guys. Remember, it's a marathon, not a sprint. So we're going to be here a bit. Let's go right ahead and get into our series. Actually, what I should do is show you real quick. I mean, what are you going to miss? Them building the first worker. We got some ZBTs. We got some PPTs. And we got some ZBPs. Yeah, I, yeah it's going to be like midnight when I'm done. If not later. Probably closer to like 1231. Which is about the time I went to bed yesterday. And I wake up at 6. <laughs> Ah, uh, I'm going to hate tomorrow. But it's fine. So yeah, this is what we got coming. Let's get right into it. Spawning in the top center. We got Redmond. Lower left. Dumble. No, not yet. It's only 9 p.m. right now. I did hate today, though. But that's unrelated. Oh, yeah, I know. Once it's 1 a.m. and I was like, yeah, then it'll be like, yeah. It also, no, it's not today until I've gone to bed or seen the sunrise. All right, those are the rules. It doesn't matter how late I'm up. It's not the next day until I've slept or seen the sunrise. All right. I worked overnights. I had to figure this out. Uh Time means nothing when you work overnight, so you just learn to you learn to nine pull or over pull, sorry. But yeah, no, that's just No, no, it's too simplistic. It's No, you you believe everything the government tells you? <sighs> These people. No. Because honestly, alright, raise your hand if you're, look at you. You're up at 4 in the morning. Do you really consider it the next day yet? No, it's still the same fucking day. Because you woke up in the morning, probably at breakfast. You went to work. You did something. You came home, and now you've been watching. No, no. It, it's still Thursday for you. And it's Thursday for all of us because we haven't gone to bed yet. Unless you just woke up at midnight. I'm just saying... All right. An overpool on a three-player map. Eh? Yeah, sure. You'll say, oh, yeah, it was 4 a.m., which is Friday. But no, practically speaking, <coughs> if I, so right now, if I was like, what did you have for lunch? You'd say, oh, today I had for lunch. Not yesterday for, because like, all right. And the molly hitting hard. No, 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 no. I've, I've, I've had this conversation well before I started smoking weed. It is simple. If it's one in the morning and my buddy's like, what did you eat for lunch today? I'm going to tell him what I ate for lunch that day. It's not like I'm going to say, oh, well, you know, it's 1 a.m. So yesterday, I don't know. Cause then, then you're just being a bit of like, no, that, that, no. You know, it's. All right, it's 1 a.m. No, for lunch today, uh, you know, I'm, I had some fucking uh, Taco Bell or whatever. But no, it's it's the time that matters. Yes, I understand they're arbitrary, but they're generally understood concepts that you have once a day. Yes, I'm... True. I did do that for years. I worked overnight several jobs for over the course of years. I actually enjoyed it a lot. All right. The overpool forcing, obviously, SCVs to be standing here at the front. <laughs> Time isn't real. All right. All right. All right. 
I'm not that high yet. Come on. It's a little early in the night for that, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, we are still on Hatchery Tech here. Let's see what we're doing. Let's talk about the universe eventually ending at Entropy. I mean, we could. Entropy is generally accepted as true. It's provable. Uh, I wouldn't say it's that. I would say it's more of a way of understanding the universe around us. Because without time, science really doesn't apply. Because why are you going to look at the stars? Why are you going to look into the night sky if you're not tracking time, right? So time is necessary for science. Otherwise, you don't have a, you don't have a need to get to do science if you don't have time which is why most civilizations come up with time before they come up with science lycanthropy well I don't know if I have anything silver nearby I definitely don't have any silver bullets all of mine are standard lead full metal jackets here well this one's a hollow point but that doesn't count I need to use that one anyway that ammo is old all right, Ling's going to poke up on in here. See a lot of Marines. Well, there's several different ways of measuring time. How would you like to measure time? We obviously have our standard clocks, but even then, like you could go by the sun, which varies from time and time of the year and location. We have um, the um, astronomical clock, which um, uses satellites and telescopes and things. You have Universal Time Code, which started on January 1st, 1970, and takes up once every second since. Which is why when tech things reset, that's why they default to January 1st, 1970. UTC is great. Um, there's a video on time zones by a computer file. It's a very old one. And it, it's literally about um, working in time zones. It's like a 25 minute just programming rant, basically, about why time zones are the worst to program. And also, don't even get me started on daylight savings. Fuck daylight savings, all right? <laughs> it's a little early in the night, but we can start ranting. The Indians said it best, you know. Only the, only the white government could think that by cutting off an inch of cloth and sewing it to the other side, could you make the cloth longer? Oh, okay. These links. Can they go ahead and beat up a medic? I don't think that's the play. I think we should have run in and gotten this scout, but neat try. He is up to three bait. Ooh, hello. Man's ready. <laughs> for what? I don't know. He's ready for something. Tis is but a scratch. Dude, this is like when you're playing the campaign and you're like, mm, fuck that. No, farmers hate daylight savings. Farmers have been against daylight savings since its implementation in the 1940s. Oh, I mean, I have no care for what the Chinese government says about anything. So, I mean, there's that. All right, Memnom, you have a great night, my dude. Thank you for stopping in. All right, plus one's coming on up here. This is beautiful, though, right? Like, this looks nice. <laughs> Nothing to get in here. Yeah, screw China. Oh, recently something that happened was there was there was some Chinese forum post for StarCraft Two, and basically it was talking about like certain players versus Chinese players, and apparently they took all the Taiwanese players and included them as Chinese players, and they just scribbled over the Taiwanese flag to make it look similar to the Chinese flag. <laughs> and it was just like, now wait a minute, now wait just a minute. That's the thing. That, like, they literally, like, someone's doing that on Chinese forums. 
about Taiwanese players. And I was like, wait just a minute. <laughs> oh my god, I never updated the stream title. No! I'm an idiot. Alright, chat. After this game, remind me to update the stream title. To remove the semis part. Because we are just in the finals now. All right, irradiate and irradiators. Irradiator, radiators. Radiator, irradiator. No, it'd be irradiator, radiators, I think. Taters. Taters and tomatoes. Beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, lamb, sauce. Sorry, that's a Thanksgiving song. It's a little too early in the year for that. Or is it too late in the year? Precious. I I can't I can't do a good golem. God, I fucking fucking love Lord of the Rings. You boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. I can't carry the burden for you, but I can carry you. And just picks up Mr. Frodo and just carries him in. It's like, ah. Fuck, that was, that was a good movie last night. Tornado warnings be damned. That was a great time at the movies. All right, we got vessels, we got tanks, lots of marine medic, and I do mean lots of marine medic. All right, scanning everything. Hi, seize the hive. All right, we're going up to four bases. We're getting cracklings. Man, literally did zerglings into hive. What? Ma, what? Huh? Uh, I mean, it's working. If it works, it ain't wrong. Well, yeah, but generally you need something like mutas to slow the tearing down or lurkers to not die to marine medic. Yeah, it, yeah, obviously once you get there, it's good. It's usually that part about getting there that's... Usually not how this goes. <laughs> like, if Terran stimmed, he would stim to win right now. Definitely could try. He's just sitting there. In an clump. Not really an arc, but... In an Intel arc GPU. Wait, oh, that's weird. Why is he sitting there in one of those? I don't know. Alright, Terran just happily taking a third base. <laughs> Still has faulty drivers. That explains it. Dude, yeah, this is literally just a dozen medics in one group. So they're never going to be anywhere... Yeah. They're either going to be, like, in front of the Marines or behind all the Marines. There's no middle ground when they're all together. This is the wall of death. Dun, 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 As the medics come running in. All right, space cows have hit the field. Two one. We're getting speed before kindness plantings. Anabolic boost. Anabolic synthesis. That ah, was close. Damn. Alright, so these gonna be these boys are gonna be fast as fuck, boy. We don't really need them fast as fuck. <coughs> <coughs> ah, we irradiated our vessel, that's nice. Oh no. Alright. Cracklings doing their crack thing. Ah. 
All right, ultras are falling. Two one marines are just too good against these kind. You, you really just. The main thing with ultras, you need that chitinous plating. Without chitinous plating, they kind of suck. That's unfortunate. Uh, he is trying. Yeah. Timing to be worked on. But remember, guys, this is tier three. So if there's any tier that is just learning the game, it's these guys. You know? But yeah, obviously there's things to improve. That's why we're all tier threes here. But, you know, we're tier threes putting up one hell of a fight. Aww. Yeah, there's so many killed on those guys. Alright, oh, tank gets killed. Ultra pops. Ultra pops. Alright, and look at this red line. The red army comes, comrade. The red army always comes. There's always more men. Not always more gun, but always more men. Well, um, yeah, that eraser will basically seal the deal. Mm, yeah, buddy. Yeah. Mm. And to be fair, more than anything, cracking this is going to be annoying because there's just so many sunkins here. <laughs> oh, Battle Cruiser's made it. He's checking other spots. Dude, I mean, this is how it is. GG's. GG's are called. <laughs> Dead Dawn will put up one hell of a fight, but in the end, Redmond is going to take it. Let's go, Nom. I mean, I also can't help but be excited because that's a point for <laughs> one map for Jinjin. Come on, Pandora Patrol. There we are. CPL 420 casting is still in full effect here. <laughs> Dead Dumbo is a spoiler. <laughs> Not to be confused with Dead Infested, the other dead. <laughs> You'd actually be surprised. I know personally, I've gotten like three or four people who play StarCraft 2 into Brood War and playing with like CPL people. So, like, yeah, there are still people joining Brood War for like the first time in their life. It's pretty awesome, actually. A lot of other people show up and like, oh, yeah, I played this game 20 years ago and I just kind of forgot about it until now and I'm really back into it. Like, Brood War is alive, guys. Brood War is alive and well. Mm. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> I too like Command and Conquer. <laughs> hey, you know, nothing wrong with Command and Conquer. Ah. Foot's falling asleep. Ah, I need to get a standing desk. Red alert. Red alert. Red alert. Wait, why is Rush playing? Huh. Rip the content. <laughs> Copyright strikes. All right, spawning here in the top left-hand side with the orange drones. 
Give it up for our boy who's put up one hell of a fight. Dead. Dumble. Door. And in the bottom, left-hand side with the red STVs. Playing for Nam. Playing for the Pandora Patrol. Give it up for our boy, Redmond. All right. Everyone, take a moment. Stretch. You've earned it. We've only watched one game. Yeah, you've earned it. <coughs> Everyone, stretch. Take a hit. Take two hits. You've all earned it. All right. Going with a nine pull this time. All right. Not the greatest on a four-player map. On a four-player, you really want to try to be going for that 12 hatch. If you, well, assuming you want to play for the late game, perhaps our man here is much more interested in the mid game and uh, not going beyond that. Uh, only way to find out. All right, no walls at the front. All right, here come the lings. What are we gonna get done with them? Taryn's gonna last scout this, so. I say that, but he is sending out another boy. All right, he's going to have to pull SCVs the moment he sees these. Oh, go, 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 go. Got to run. Go, go, go. Now, a neat little trick you can do, all right? When you need to do something like this, is you actually make sure they all have minerals in their hand. Because once they're taking damage, you just tell it to return. You just hit the return cargo button. It just goes on home. Next one goes on home. Oh, we actually haven't scouted where the Terran is yet. This is awkward. This is um, very much so awkward. Well, I mean, if nothing else, Terran is losing that mining time. So that's cool. And I mean, realistically, once it's scouted, your nine pool or your over pool is not going to get any damage done. So keeping these SCVs pulled is, you know, the best you're going to get. I mean, short of Terran not pulling them and you getting in and killing everything, but eh, I don't like that as a likely option because it's not. Alright, yep, Terran just CC on the high ground. Second like racks. Ooh, we're taking the top right hand side. I like it, I like it a lot. Alright, coming down here. SCV is doing good body blocking. Oh, wow. That was really good for Terran. All right. Gra <laughs> grab these boys. Run in here and kill this. This is a free overlord. Take it. Take it and be gone.
All right, there we are. Free Overlord is getting got. Yeah. Now his mineral count's much lower. And he's spending a bit of money on defenses that you don't really need to yet, but that is very much just a sign of tier three, you know, where it's just like, I don't want to die, so. This is the I've died one too many times. All right, but this base is coming on up here. All right. And Taren here going ahead and just doing his thing. Zerg doing his thing. It's just a happy little macro game, guys. Just paint. <laughs> Couldn't get the comp set down. <laughs> Stay off my damn long. St damn kid, get off my lawn. I don't know, someone said that and then now they're like being charged with like murder. Wait, no, no. Alright, the scans go down, the main natural. Sees the queen's nest. Alright, so he knows Hive is coming. Zerg just macroing away like an absolute macro machine. What's the reactions here? All right, factory finishing up here. Are you gonna do a machine shop, or is he just gonna go into Starport and ignore it? Huh? All right, Starport it is. Smells like SK Terran in here. All right. I was coming on up here. And once again, it's just... Just Lings. SK Terran, it's a, um... It's the Marine Medic Vessel style. There, There's nuances to it that some Terran will absolutely talk your ear out about. But generally speaking, SK um, refers to, um... Was it Sulky? No. One of those... I think it was. Terran who popularized it. Is the SK um, refers to him. So. Yeah, it's basically just like Marine Medic Vessel. It is sulky. Alright. I thought so. Oh, that makes sense. That's why I wasn't sure. That's why I wasn't sure. Aha. Uh -huh. Koreans having two players with the same name. Reminded of the times Tastos has talked about how, like, oh, yeah, we had to explain to them that, like, foreigners don't really know them by their name and only by their username. It's like, yeah, yeah, that's, that's a thing <laughs> in the foreign scene. That's how we know people. This gas is not saturated. This gas is not saturated. This gas is not saturated. That's not a lot of gas. <laughs> Well, that's a lot of gas being not mined. All right. Taren just happily macroing away. Yeah, he got nothing to do with his life. He's like, oh, you're not building mutas? I don't really care. 
race to the ma um, race to maxed out, I guess. And maxed out and throw our armies at each other. I'm down. I'm down for it. All right, scan sees three bases. Doesn't see anything down here. Well, all right, must be on three bases. That's cool. All right, this time we are getting chitinous plating first. And chitinous plating makes a huge difference against Marines. Like plus one Marines, not going to be plus three armor ultras. All right. All right. I forgot that they um, these guys must have put on the NR15 option. Ah, uh, yeah. I forgot about that, guys. Silly me. Anyway, oh yeah, let's, NR15. Yeah, let's do it. Although it might be a uh, NR12 based on the posturing. All right. Yeah, our poor, our poor dead boy here. I mean, he's almost up to a hundred supply of Ling Ultra. Doesn't exactly have the linchpin here, which is the um, the defiler. But we'll see. At tier three, you can win without it. I know because I win my game sometimes without it. But I'm also really dumb and stubborn. Don't be like me. Build a defiler. Defilers are a good unit. All right, we are physicsing up the lab here. Uh, the biggest battle cruisers on the way. Who doesn't love big battle cruisers? A nice big battle cruiser energy. Oh, we're about to drop so many irradiates. Ah, oh, but once again, Marines literally just tickle these ultras. See, the trick with the radiates, you need to drop them before the fight starts. So you need to drop the irradiates a solid, like, 20, 30 seconds before you even consider moving your army in. Dude, this is not the time to erase her. This is the time to be trying to deal with these ultras that are slaughtering your army. Yeah, it's because, yeah. Irradiate works both ways. Irradiate does, in fact, swing both ways. Man, that's what we're here for. We're here for the silly. We're here for the fun. Are you kidding? That's half the fun. I imagine, like, serious games are cool and all, but, man... This is like, this is just the fun stuff. This is what we get to do, you know? All right. All right, we're gathering up. Well, that's a lot of ultras, guys. That's a lot of ultras, actually. It's like 15 ultras, guys. Whoosh. All right, so he scans out, sees that the top right has been consumed for the swarm. 
And here we go. More Marine Medic. 2-1. Alright. Um, dude, a Battlecruiser wins that. Dude, oh, air units are overrated. Why would you build air units? No. I don't think I've ever seen that happen. Like, I genuinely don't think I've ever seen that. <laughs> <laughs> Minions immediately has to eat his fucking words. Oh. <laughs> I love it, guys. This is the fun stuff. GG is called. Dead. Redman taps out. Dead doubles taking game number two. And he's going to revel in it a little bit. He's just going to enjoy the win. <laughs> All right. Man's just enjoying his victory. <laughs> oh, man. Guys, we signed. Oh, are you kidding? Our toast has lost this game like three minutes ago. Let's be honest here. I'm curious how much he kills, guys. I need to know. <laughs> nope, that's where it ends, apparently. A whole minute of just slaughtering the opponent. Understandable. Have a nice day. <laughs> you guys came here for StarCraft, and damn it, that's what I'm giving you. It might not be the StarCraft you expected. It might not be the StarCraft you wanted. But damn it, it's the StarCraft you need. You need it right in here. Right in your esophagus. That's where you need this brood war. Alright guys, game number three. We're wasting no time. In the bottom right hand side, we got Redmond. With the red SCVs. Get it. And his opponent, the man who builds lings and ultras and wins sometimes. Give it up for Dead Remus, aka Dead Dumble. Yes. Yes, that is correct. Ramus. Both characters dying very good deaths. As much we were ripping on Harry Potter earlier with some of the world building aspects of it. Because let's be honest here, some of the world building in Harry Potter is uh, But damn if the characters aren't interesting and the story is driving. Love it. Like, what I would love to... Like, the thing that Harry Potter doesn't do is it... It just introduces things as they become convenient, right? That would be cool. But I would love to see, like, everything at the beginning, right? Maybe, well, maybe not everything, right? Because things can come up. But there's just so many times where it's like, all right, here are the rules. And in the next book, it's like, well, we don't need those rules anymore. Here's new rules and new things. And then in the next book, it's like, well, those don't matter anymore either. We're... All right. This is a... Um, this is... We're in two racks here. But that's, like, my biggest issue... Is that it's, um, Remus damn near killed us. 
Oh, why was I forced to read that? Yeah, I know. And that's, I'll call it out on anybody who does it. Like, it, it's bad. When anyone does it, it's bad. I mean, there are aspects, right? There is soft world building and hard world building. Like, there are two different versions, right? Like, Lord of the Rings is very hard world building, where there is just the rules. And this is how things go. And then you have soft world building, which is a lot more of what Harry Potter is kind of like. And that's where it's just like, you know, with your soft world building, it's you don't have like these defined rules. You kind of just like, the world just kind of is, right? Um, Hello Future Me did a really cool video on on um, hard world building versus soft world building. And it's, it's really good. If you're at all interested in writing or anything like I am, because I'm a nerd, would recommend. All right. We've pulled less SCVs this time, and we've got two racks pumping Marines. What we should be doing is hiding these Marines, right? You put three at the ramp, and you rally the rest back to your command center, right? Because you only need three to fight here. No, no. It it can seem lazy. All right. Soft world building can be used as an excuse for lazy writing. But good soft world building is actually good. Think um, Studio Ghibli. Every Studio Ghibli movie. I don't know why I said Ghibli. That was weird. Guys, that was really weird. Every Studio Ghibli movie is soft world building. Every single one of them. And they are all fantastic. So it's like, it can be done very well. Where you just have like these wacky things that happen, but it all kind of makes sense. I know. It's Ghibli. Man, I've heard both. I've heard both so many times in my life. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, soft world building is really great when it's done <laughs> well. Like, when it's done on purpose and it's done well. Harry Potter definitely phones it in from time to time, and it shows. I love Harry Potter still. I think, like, I think there's a lot of great things about it. But it's just, it's definitely not, like, I don't think it deserves any awards for, like, best written anything, you know? Alright, trade out some Marines for, um, Zerglings. Yeah. I mean, the hard world building is, well, funny enough, hard <laughs> to do. So that's why a lot of people stick with soft world building. Like, um, Pirates of the Caribbean, I would put in soft world building, right? Like, there's definitely things around it, but you never really, like, you don't touch on a lot of them. I mean, it's... Absolutely fantastic, but Well guys I found Idra Guys this is... I didn't know Idra played brood war <laughs> Even dead is like wait a minute what <laughs> All right G is in fact called Redmond taps out. Zerg will win the day. I never thought I'd be upset about that. But here we are. I don't like that, guys. All right. Guys, that's fine. You know, one point's fine, all right? One point is fine. <laughs> Don't worry. There's no ZVZs. It's fine. <laughs> oh, God. There's definitely been ZVZs where someone's like, I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. And they come back and the game's actually over. And they're like, what happened? It's like, dude, you, you went away for a minute and a half in a ZVZ. What do you want? Soft series. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
there's a lot of implied units and a lot of there's a lot of implied things that could have happened. So it's a lot of soft world series building. We're spawning here in the lower left hand side. Give it up for the Gabba Goon. It is fearsome opponent in the lower right with the black probes. Give it up for Lamb. But where's the lamb sauce? Damn it, now I want to go watch Studio Ghibli movies. We need some duck sauce. Lamb season. Duck season. No, no. <laughs> What I need right now is, um, I don't know, actually. I actually, oh, I found what we need. <sighs> Protoss, just once, can't you honorably macro? Kodama. I actually just like don't have the munchies or anything today. I'm just like I ate a lot for lunch. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, he sees it. Did he see it though? Ah, there it is. He's like, "Now wait just a minute. What did I just see there?" You can't just say that, minions. You, you can't just say that. <laughs> but he's black. <laughs> I don't think you're legally allowed to say that anymore, especially depending on your country. All right, probe gets got. All right, SCB tussling with the zealot. Yeah. <laughs> Gabba Goon's getting Gabba got by the Gabba wall. Look, you know, friendly fire happens. Well, this is unfortunate. This is, um, not great. If I were to describe it in two words, not great. If I were to describe it in three words, Shit's whack, yo. Um, technically, the word R E I G N S would be the correct reigns here. So it'd be reigning like a king. Oops. It rains. All right, the marine micro potential is there. Mm, not always. All right, we got the rock throwing bike man. Throw your rocks. Oh yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, look at that tier 3 Terran shining through. If he's good at one thing, it's microing a vulture. Oh. Interesting. Final Fantasy 13? Alright. Not one that I am as familiar with. Man just got a kill. Bruh. Oh, it's just a bunker. Oh. Nyeom. Look at us go. Speedy Gonzalez. 
Yeah. I think you realize that it's not um, sealed. Yeah, surprisingly in few invisible men. No, well. <laughs> what do we do to that we're at the base? I don't know. I didn't think we'd get this far. Yes. In theory, this should be game for Terran. He could do a bit better job of syncing up his shots. But. Oh, uh, micro. Micro. Dude, don't doubt tier 3. Tier 3 always delivers. Oh. Meanwhile, there are still, still zealots over here. To be fair, he is trying to micro at home more than he is trying to micro abroad. Yeah. Yeah, hindsight and all, right? It is one of those things where it's definitely a lot easier for us to sit here and say, like, oh, I could have done that. It's like, yeah, yeah, we probably could have. But also at the same time, it's <laughs> for these guys, it's not exactly as easy for as it is for some of us. You know, I like to cut them some slack. Oh, that was all the mines. All right. Operation kill every single probe. Well, we didn't kill them all. We did kill a few of them, which is more than zero. All right, forward bunker coming on up here for the singular Marine. That Marine deserves all of the special treatment. All right, Terran's ahead in workers, guys. Guys, is Terran doing it? Is this how you LOL Terran? That's true. Terran has yet to expand. Protoss has yet to saturate this, though. It doesn't count yet. That still only counts as one. Alright, Vulture's throwing rocks at Dragoons. It's always a crazy idea. Alright. Gabagoon here gets the right idea, you know. Get, he's out in the map. He's getting mines down in places, right? Near the gates. Near his opponent's main. Oh. One connected. Neat. <laughs> oh, now you kill the pylon. No, that would be rude. My opponent needs that. How is he going to build things out of his gateway if I kill the pylon? You know, we're gentlemen of war here. All right, Robo coming on up. Whoop. Yes, yes, I obviously I understand. <laughs> this is like all right he drives around like four times and they're like oh what if we open the door for you oh move command 
Remember, guys, don't drink the goon juice. There's a sticker that says, according to the state of California, this may cause cancer. So um, I would recommend not drinking it. I definitely move command where you're just like, I need you to get like to that base real quick, right? Where it's like, all right, I need you guys to be like here. Mm, right click. Right here. Nah, right click. Right click. Is winning the game good? Ah, it's got its advantages. For sure. <laughs> it's true. Look, it's not up to me to tell you how to live your life. If you're going to drink the goon water, drink the goon water. All I'm saying is that I can't guarantee you it's any better than the bong water. So you're you're at your own risk at that point. Like, how often has goon water changed? Slurm. Can I get it out of an icy machine at 7-Eleven? Is that where I get my goon juice slurpees? Oh, uh, that actually sounds like a mixed drink at some, like, nerd bar, right? Goon juice slurpees. Alright, Observer goes in, sees a missile turret. That's nice. Uh, this one sees the army moving out. <laughs> oh no! Oh, we actually should have stayed sieged. Uh. They all just kind of watch that vulture die. They're like, oh, that's unfortunate. Oop, blasting probes. This. This is Siege. This is Unsiege. This is Siege. Not to be confused with Rainbow Six Siege, a uh, first person shooter game that I'm actually pretty good at. No. Technically, cannons don't siege in this game. In real life, they do, but in this game, cannons don't. Oh. Alright, the pendulum swings back, guys. Is Terran doing it? Or is Protoss going to Protoss him here? Yeah, reinforcement. Singular. All right. If only some invisible unit. Yeah, just this is where move commanding is good. You just kind of move command in here and hope for the best. Otherwise, that happens. Well, Terran's just rallying across the map. true as they pop up and scream at you and you're like oh yeah this is how I die it's like hearing the click of a landmine as you're walking you just click and you're like no yeah and then this is how I die boom dude he needs that gas Unfortunately, I do think our Protoss chances are slipping here. GG is in fact called. And Gabagoon, Gabagotum, baby. 
Let's go. Absolutely Gabba got him. I don't know, guys. Uh, I'm trying to come up with more GABA based jokes, and um, it's not working. I don't know. All right, we're just going to send it. I'm going to take a hit. Hope for some inspiration. Well, let's see what happens. Spawning here in the top right-hand side with the blue probes. Give it up for our boy, Lamb. And his sauce, the goon sauce. And his opponent in the bottom left hand side with the red SCVs. Give it up for the Gabba got him, the Gabba goon. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. All right, what other controversial topics we can talk about? We did Harry Potter. Um, I don't know. We did we did the Star Wars prequel era earlier, and why that's amazing. What's another good early game topic? Hmm. I mean, we talk about how J.K. Rowling hates Irish people. That's always a fun one. All right. Gateway Scout going across the map. All right. Checking for any sort of barracks, but also just going to conveniently get the first scout here. Classic Protoss things. Just, uh, I'm going to scout randomly this way, and uh, it's going to work. All right, Gavagoon says, uh, once, sure, twice, no. And make sure that he's got the micro potential. In base cannons. What was casted so far? Not much, just the first series. We're um, one game into, well, this is game two of the second series. You are the last series of the night. So you still got a little bit. Yeah, it's going to be a long night. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, I'm sure that you're going to provide some entertaining games, Peach. I am absolutely sure of it, if nothing else. All right, SV just doing his thing, scouting around. Goon just comes in here. Eh, doesn't really like that fight. Figures oh, I'll back off. Ah, eh, no, not today. Not, not today, guys. 
Doesn't quite get paid enough goon juice to uh, fight that by himself. Ah, yes. The um, barracks micro here where you just lift it and land it, lift it, land it, lift it, land it. It's like StarCraft 2 supply depot where you just brrr, spam all around. Oh, you could kill off this SCV. Oh, it just finishes. What? What is this? On the back of this, we are getting a Nexus up in the natural. <laughs> ah, classic PVT. Oh, too close. Hey, get out of here, vulture. Nerd. Don't try things. All right, goon at home, pushing this vulture back. Oh, nice. Good kill. Doesn't even run into the mines. 10 out of 10. Both players are choosing the macro here. Robo Observatory. And tanks. Do love me some tanks. NG base for turrets. Nice. Academy for them scans. Oh. All right, Mr. Vulture. You're just going to let this happen? Oh, Mr. Vulture, come on. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? All right, Citadel, third base. Yeah. Can't just go in there and kill him. That would be rude. Honorable biker man doesn't throw rocks at probes. All right, scan goes down, sees the citadel. Doesn't see anything else. Oh. Oh, what are you doing down here? Huh? Huh. That is the weirdest scout for a third base when you have two goons right here. All right, scans keep going down. Still not seeing much. This is just Gateway Man with some observers. Oh, gets in, sees the factory count, gives his life for it. All right, third base is up. We are sending over some boys to work. Alright, missile turrets doing their job, harassing poor defenseless observers. Look at him, he's got speed. He's got observer speed. Look at these things go. Yeah, look at that. This thing's cruising. 
right into another missile turret. Yeah, it's because <laughs> they didn't bother making a middle ground. They want you get hella slow or hella fast. We don't believe in middle ground here. Oh, no. Not again. That is three observers. He has sent in. I've gone down to 11 HP. It's actually hilarious. Three. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, well, this is going to suck. What the hell? Did, what just killed that vulture? Dishonorable Terran just running in when he gets a chance. All right, you spot a bunch of gateways. What are you doing? Protoss has actually pretty good vision of everything Terran's doing. Like, this is good stuff right here, right? Alright, we've got Stormy Boys. Not to be confused with Stormy Daniels. These guys are not suing anybody. Alright, tanks. Vultures, boys, everyone hit the road. Our scans goes down, sees the army. And um, yeah, tanks go brrrr. And suddenly, Protoss has no army. Oh. Trying to flank the High Templar. YOLO, send it! YOLO swag, send it in. Oh, why are we pushing into this? No, push into that! Oh, no. Oh, no. No. This is not looking good for Lamb. It's over, Anakin. I have the siege tanks. You underestimate my storms. Don't try it. Ah, grrr. Oh, we storm our own. <laughs> we do more damage to our zealots than the tanks, basically. Well, we have no vultures, so um, these zealots are just going to connect and do a lot of damage. All right, vulture, tank, boy, boy. All right, we should probably consolidate our forces. Missing a little bit of macro here. It's fine. It happens. Protoss taking the bottom right. All right. Protoss gonna Protoss, I guess. Single hurt Dragoon from the beginning. It's like, oh, I'm going to deny the space, guys. Don't you worry about it. I'll do all the work. Oh, mine connections. All right, Gunder's just going to sit here and dance into tank shots and then back again. That's uh, not the greatest use of your health and shields, but that's 
fine. Sure, we'll make it work. We had a lot of high Templar. All right, that is hella storm. It's almost too much storm. Never thought I'd say it, but it's almost too much storm. Four twenty is strong with this one. Oh no, we're totally sober. I don't know what you're talking about, Mars. What is this slander? This is a sobriety stream. We're good Christians here. Oh no. Oh, I mean, if you're a Protoss, oh no. If you're Terran, oh yes. Oh yes. Oh, the High Templar A moved. Oop, there's a. Alright, that's a better storm, at least. Oh. Alright. Attacking in a little bit disjointed here. It's not working out for our boy. Vulture's gonna fight the cannon. Fight the cannon! Not really the greatest thing to fight, but it works. Alright. Oh, Terran's up in supply, up in workers. Kind of equal on bases. Protoss has one he's not using and one coming up here. But as for mining, they're both in the same position, really. So I don't hate this at all, actually. It's still a pretty open game. Terran with a bit of bank, he could be spending, and then he'd be, you know, decently ahead, but. It's fine, you gotta save that for your kid's college fund. Very important. All right, vultures run in and then run back out. All right, get those mines in the dirt. Oh, God. Oh, God. Mines with the friendly fire. Believe it or not, it's not very friendly. Oh, now that's a storm. Oh, my goodness. Bro. All right, guys. Prados is here cleaning up the tank count. And honestly, that tank count is the very important part, right? Because vultures don't kill buildings. Or dragoons. Or like a lot of things actually. Meanwhile Protoss. This base is up now. He's kind of stabilizing. This base is going to die. To vultures. 1-1 one, one vultures are going to kill a nexus guys. Someday. Not today. Probably not tomorrow actually at that rate. But someday. Top left, coming online. Terran sees the worker transfer. Oh. All right, what do we got here? We got a lot of vultures, a few tanks. Oh, oh no. Guys. That is three workers that cannot mine gas or do anything. Oh, no. All 
All right. Protoss is going to try and push in here. It's not going to go very well, actually. Terran is this thing called prepared. All right, that's a lot of vultures up here. Yeah, this is looking real good for Terran at this point. Supply is ballooning in his favor. Workers ballooning in his favor. Protoss still sticking with Gateway Man. No Arbiters, no Carriers, no nothing else. 2-1 is done for Terran. A little late, but better late than never. Protoss on 2-2-2. Two, two, two. All right. That's actually pretty good for him. But... He also has to find a way to break tanks with just Goon Zealot. And I don't think that's actually legally... I don't, I don't think you can legally do that. Terran taking bottom right's third. Interesting position. Alright, here we are. Protoss move out. He's gonna try for it. Vultures run by. They see it. Terran alright. Ding 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 ding. Alarm bells. Just get ready to be in a defensive position. Protoss is about to push into you. Saluter just hit that siege button. Get those mines ready. And you should be fine. Oh, storm goes down. Lots of invisible men here. Invisible men are very good. I mean, until a scan goes down. Yeah, I know, right? All right, scan goes down. There's a turret here. So we can be killing these DTs. All right, turret's dead. There's another turret. There's a scan. Oh, they're going for the other turret. Right click the DTs. Oh my god, we killed them both. What? That was actually incredibly lucky. He shot as he lost vision. That guy's got seven kills somehow. That's cool. Yeah, and now Terran's going up to. Let's see, we got. One full base, two full base, three full, uh, full air quotes, right? And then this three and a half bases versus Protoss is one half. Another half. Protoss is kind of mining on two bases. And when Terran's a base and a half ahead of you, mm, sixty-nine workers, nice. Oh, he built one more. What? A, what a terrible person. All right, he's going to gabba get him here. All right. Protoss army catching reinforcements in the middle of the map. The rest are going to try and push back up into Terran's push here. All right. Yeah, this is not a there's no good angle to push into this. Vzink. All right, I'd love a scan right about now. <laughs> Never mind. Lamb taps out. GG, he knows it's done. And like that, our boy Gabba got him with a 2-0.
All right, guys. I haven't slept, like, at all in, like, several days. I'm going to do something I've never done. I'm going to tap out. <laughs> I'm really tired, guys. I know that I'm not giving you the best casting that I can. So, you know what? I'm going to pick this up tomorrow, all right? Tomorrow evening, we'll pick this back up. <sighs> Man, I haven't slept so... <laughs> I haven't slept in days. Oh, uh fucking festival last weekend that I had to work it really threw me no I trust me guys how many casts have I ever tapped out on you know like name a cast I've tapped out on before so I'm taking my one everyone gets one and I'm taking my one all right I hope you all don't mind but we will be back tomorrow I promise you we're going to take up right where we're leaving off here. I'll even show you. MK Ultra and Vent will be first thing tomorrow, all right? So we will get it done. Let's find someone to show some love to. You know what? Zen streaming. Let's let's go visit Zen. I haven't actually rated him in a while. All right, guys. You let Zen know that he's amazing. Thank you all for hanging out. I'm sorry, Dada. You're going to have to splice some things together. But, chat, thank you for hanging out. I hope you all have a fantastic night. And I will see you all tomorrow. A little bit of an ad hoc CPL casting. Peace.